Hey everyone, JCR here. Just wanted to give a quick thank you to all of you who've supported this channel over the last year and a half. The amount of love and support shown to our entire community has been nothing short of incredible, and I can't put into words how thankful we are for all of you. Today we're bringing you a fully commentated any percent human theory task showcase. If you want to catch these premiere streams live, be sure to follow the official SPM community Twitch channel. You can find a link to it in the description below. All right. Without further ado, enjoy the task. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Any Percent RTA Human Task. Um, we have myself, NM Flash 8, here, uh, as well as three other commentators. We have JCR. Hey, what's going on, guys? Great to be here. Uh, we have ZachLink99. Yo, what's up, guys? And Ghost himself. I don't know if he's going to unmute for us, but he's here as well. <laughs> Um, we also have JCR restreaming this task. Um, so, uh, if you guys saw the disclaimers, we also have a couple uh, commands in the chat: uh, exclamation mark h task, exclamation mark gbs, and exclamation mark task world record. Um, so, basically, this task is, um, I guess, the human theory limit uh, to how fast we can possibly run the game. Uh, Ghost is even taking the liberty of um, uh, taking the loads of an actual run and matching the emulator times to match RTA times. So this is this is going to be really awesome. Yeah, it's so it's incredibly cool. accurate to like. Yeah, so it's like incredibly accurate to an any percent run as well. So anything you see that's been done here in this task is something that could be done in an RTA run. With given time, of course. Yep, yep. So we're going through prologue right now. You will notice that during um, during loading cutscenes, sometimes music will either slow up or slow down or speed up. That's basically matching Wii U loads or uh, the loads mm -hmm. to uh, an accurate human task. Pretty much the main difference that you need to know for this task, rather than a normal uh, Super Paper Mario task, is that everything that you can see today will or can be done rather by a human it can be performed on a Wii remote it's pretty much taking uh, all of the best possible strats and putting it into one run so it's gonna be a lot of fun to watch absolutely so before we get really into this run we want to know what you guys think how fast this run is going to be uh, you can see the world record at the end I believe um, but go ahead and throw what, what times you guys think that the run is going to be in the chat. And we'll say at the end of the run who got who got the closest. Yeah, we'll try to keep track of them. Um, basically, just whatever final time you think it's going to be, go ahead and put it in chat. Um, mm -hmm. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll see who's closest, just for fun. 337, 338. Okay, okay. You get bonus points if you go down to the second. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think I know like roughly the time, so I'm not gonna guess. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> yeah, I think I got a spoilers a couple days ago. <laughs> also, if you guys have any other questions about this run, um, we do have Zach here, who actually holds the world record for this game, so he might be able to answer any of your questions on why we do certain straps, or how we do certain things. 100%, yeah, and then even just like at the start of the game here, uh, once he passes through the text, obviously with the text you match 1 and 2, uh, but you're gonna see right when he starts moving, uh, he's gonna jump to start the movement, that's just gonna save like 3 or 4 frames on every single time we gain control of Mario, which really adds up across the whole run like it becomes like 10 20 seconds maybe even close to like a minute it's kind of crazy how much times we do it mm -hmm. absolutely yeah there's tons of strats like that that we're gonna see uh just like obviously jumping uh to save frames and then obviously uh there's some cool stuff with entering doors that we'll get to 
Uh, but right now we have the first pure heart, and one thing I do want to point out uh, as we start moving to the first pure heart pillar, we at the very bottom of your screen there, we actually have a really neat uh, icon thing which Ghost made, which you can pretty much keep track of uh, every story element. You know, you have one for pixels. We you can see the little red pure heart uh, in the bottom yellow strip there. So it's really cool. I just wanted to point that out so you guys can follow along in case you're lost. Mm -hmm. Very similar yeah, to Karage's task. He he had like a little layout down there. That's very very nice touch uh, added by Ghost. Yeah, the overlays are really nice for the passes. Yep. You'll also see on the sidebar um, a time, uh, and there's an icon, but represented by who owns the fastest uh, time to uh, each each segment. So you see uh, Castle's uh, little icon in the bottom corner right there. That means Castle owns the fastest time to uh, to beat Prologue. There's Ghost. There's Zack. Um, I, I think Agurmi. you guys are the only one. Oh, does Agurmi own a couple records yeah, as well? he's on a couple, yeah. Awesome. At least for sure 7-3, that's all I know. 7-3? <laughs> <three>? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So you three and then a Gurmi snagged his way in there. <laughs> awesome. Watch this little animation coming up here as well. This is the little bit of spoiler spoilers I got with the um the return pipe. Yo, that's so cool. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, Ghost like did a very nice there. job. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that, that cool? was so Dude. cool. This is awesome. Oh, awesome. Fuck, man. <laughs> Yeah, so that'll happen uh, at the end of every segment. It's basically showing you the exact segment time. Um, really, really cool. I can't stress that enough. It's awesome. Yeah, Ghost spent a lot of time into this. So um, I guess uh, to promote him a little bit, we're going to be posting the commentated version of this of the speed run onto the SPM community channel. Uh, but Ghost is going to actually post. Um, I think he already has it uploaded. Um, but he has the raw footage of the entire um, task going to be premiered on his channel right after. Well, not premiered, but like he's going to have it go live right after. Uh, just to answer Tommy's question, this is a 60 FPS game. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, All right. So we are going into 1 1, first level. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be really fun to see. This is actually where some of the movement is. You're going to actually start to see a difference. Um, I, I, I'm thinking there's going to be basically the perfect uh, point grind, which we will point out here in a little bit. But we need to grab a few things before we, we get to that. We're going to go grab the flipping ability uh, to be able to flip into 3D by talking to Bestovius, I believe. And then um, we'll be able to continue on the level. Something cool to note here is for the longest time we thought it was faster to get a coin here on the first screen, but uh, so basically what happened? What happens is the cutscene actually happens a little faster. There's a lot less text in it if you get a coin, uh, but the coin counter like animation where it goes down actually costs more time, so it's actually faster not to get a coin on the first screen at all. And another thing to note to you is with the text options here, Ghost will be clicking no first and then yes afterwards. It'll just save like, I think it's like six or seven frames or something like that. Wow. And we do do it RTA as well. Very cool. Yeah, I think um, it was like this rumor for like a long time that you would always grab a coin because the text boxes were faster. But I think yeah. the the earlier running runners were just bad at text mashing. <laughs> so yeah, it might have saved time awesome. back then, but nowadays... We have runners like Castle who can mash like a billion buttons per second. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll notice he doesn't grab the Shroom Shake. We do in pretty much every RTA run. It's just for safety, obviously. Uh, Ghost doesn't really need any safety at all this run. <laughs> yeah, Castle doesn't even grab the Shroom Shake anymore. It's, I mean, yeah. madman. <laughs> I always grab it. You never know, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Especially in Samur Kingdom. So in this room, we're going to have the Koopa that we could kick, except actually like, he's not kicking it, never mind. Uh, we don't really oh. have to kick it. Uh, for RTA, uh, usually we do. 
uh, just because it gets us like that extra 3k points, which makes the grind a little more consistent. Uh, mm -hmm. But Ghost Ops did not do it, which makes sense, honestly. Very cool. I think it's like a second or so, not kicking the shelter. Something we could look into for runs. Oh yeah, he emulated the leg spike, that's crazy. Yeah, so there's uh, these things called leg spikes in this game where the game is just going to slow down kind of randomly when opening doors and stuff. These won't happen on Dolphin. Uh, so what Ghost did there is he actually just slowed the game down to emulate that. There's the fast flower. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah, look at his point. Yeah, Lots of points go. here. <laughs> Nice little 86k, I love to see it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Perfect point grind. Yeah. And what's cool is this has been done by myself a couple times in RT, and I think it's been done by a couple other people as well. Um getting wow. like a high up getting like a high point square like this. Uh so it's definitely RTA possible. I uh, just I recommend not hitting the block in RTA though, because it costs like half a second to go hit it. And if you get unlucky mm -hmm. then you're just wasting time. Interesting, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, because it's actually faster to start on the right side of the grind, because you saw at the end of the at the end of the grind he had to like kinda like move all that distance to the left again. Uh mm -hmm. if you start on the right side, then you can just end on the left side. Which is really nice. So yeah. in RTA it loses like half a second or so to hit the block there. Uh but obviously in theory, yes, you can get the <laughs> good RNG and get the fast flower, so obviously that's what Ghost opted to do. Very cool. Man, we are already four seconds ahead of the community sum of best. <laughs> <laughs> That's really <It's> cool. crazy. <laughs> that is insane. Fast flower did help, obviously, but... <laughs> 100%. And uh, you'll notice in the next room here, uh, Ghost is probably going to opt to not do ladder jumps. No. Uh, no that's yeah, just because... The Maybe the one. <laughs> Obviously, it is possible to just try one in RTA like that, so definitely would let that slide there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but that is a frame perfect jump off of the ladder. So, if you guys want to do exclamation mark uh, GBS, um, this will explain this trick coming up here in this room. Um, so. Um, technically this trick isn't possible on, um, on the version that, um, that Ghost used to do this, this task. So, um, this, this explains what you're going to see on screen. I haven't quite seen it yet, but he has a comparison of what the green bridge skip should look like. Yeah, I, I did take a look at it, so I'll sort of commentate over it, but pretty much, okay. um, the reason it doesn't work, uh, which... We have in chat basically Dolphin Lua Core uh, 5.0 is unable to process floats to an absolute decimal, which is needed to do the normal RTA method of GBS. So uh, it's not quite possible. Yeah. There is a workaround which Ghost is going to do, but Ghost also adds in um, another video showcasing the normal RTA plane walk GBS, which we all see right here. Here we go. This is amazing. <laughs> Yeah, so you're gonna see uh, while he's doing GBS here, uh, he's just gonna clip out of bounds using shop clip. Uh, so if you flip move against the wall, you can flip again out of bounds. And we do this kind of like precise movement where we jump over all these doors. And we do this extra flip here to just set our uh, position coordinate just so that it's in like a spot where we can just retry the trick if it fails. Uh, and then <laughs> two very precise movements and we can just climb up the seam. It's actually crazy. Yep. So that video in the bottom right, there is an alternate method of doing GBS, uh, which is not the RTA version, but they match up perfectly, so... Yeah, yeah. he's just waiting there. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. That's funny. Yeah, this that, this is probably one of the coolest tricks I've ever seen in speedrunning. Like, just the fact that you can Crazy. walk out of bounds, like, on a point decimal frame, and then do frame-perfect inputs to walk on a point zero zero zero. uh like a hundredth of a decimal, like all the way up to that plane is insane. The, the fact that we've been able to find that, this it just shows how amazing this community is. Yeah, it's really cool that we can do that in RTA. Um, and like we were saying earlier with like the Dolphin version, like not being able to like uh, process exact like units properly, that's like, it, that's how precise it is. It's like, I believe it's like one hundredth of a 
of a unit or something crazy. Yeah, it's it's absolutely insane. So we're actually going to see a, uh, a squig jump right there. There we go. Perfect. Love to see it. Yeah, so what's cool is when you take damage while you're holding an enemy, the enemy actually, like, goes below you. Uh, so then you can actually just bounce on the enemy and go over the kind of gap there. It saves, like, a second over doing another method we did, which was a rock jump. Uh, but it saves, like, probably, like, 20 seconds over the vanilla way, which is really cool. Yeah. I'm actually really excited to see this O-Chunks fight. This this oh, fight yeah, has probably caused so many people to reset. Oh my god, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Oh my goodness. Wow. And you'll see because he has so much points, he can hit him so much less time. Yeah, he was doing three damage per. Yeah. Wow. So he has like two hits, I believe. I think it's like you do... Six instead of eight, or eight instead of ten. I don't remember mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is really cool. Uh, just to and recap, because I saw a couple people. Oh, go oh. ahead, go ahead, explain this. Yeah, explain no, go. This. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. So uh, here in this room, if you grab the curable enemy and hold it above your head, uh, and then it hits you, what it'll do is it'll bounce the enemy like higher up, so that we could jump off of it and get on top there. You might be thinking that you can just jump off it from where it is, but no, it barely doesn't reach. Mm -hmm. And then I'll let someone explain this room. Go ahead, yeah, so This is uh, Blue Pedestal Skip, and it's over. There we go. So basically, uh, by <laughs> a very, <laughs> there's a very, very, very precise ledge that we can jump on, and by continuing the hold up, uh, we can flip back into 2D right under the star wow. block, and there we go. We're on to 1 4. That's crazy. That's amazing. See, that was, that, during GBS, I was just like, uh, and then it's done. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, what I was going to say earlier is um, we had a couple people ask. So this is a human theory task. So everything you see here, it is tool assisted. So meaning this is perfect, but everything can be done in RTA. So meaning our, our top runners do all of these tricks that you're watching. Pretty much well, everything that you see today can be done on a weird one. So. Mm -hmm. And has been done. <laughs> yep. yep. And has been. Yep. Super cool. Although not for four hours straight. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And or perfectly. <laughs> yeah. Am I do a ladder jump here? No. No nah. ladder jump. <laughs> oh, that key animation looked so trippy, but it was so cool. <laughs> oh wow, dude, that is so cool. That's sick. I love all the animations <laughs> that Ghost put into this. Yeah, it's so stuck. So, speaking of key, uh, we're actually going to do key early right here. Uh, just with a corner clip, landing back on the quicksand, we can maneuver uh, to this plane, jump behind the blocks, and collect that key. Uh, and then we can pretty much skip an entire room by doing this. It's actually crazy. So cool. Both the people who found it are commentating it this run right now. <laughs> I also true. found the optimizations yeah. for it, so... JCR had here. all the ideas. <laughs> I just passed it. <laughs> <laughs> And I made it save like an extra half second. True. <laughs> yeah. That's right. With doing the 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 one like the, where you jump in this hop there, I'm pretty sure I found that anyways. Yeah, we you, figured out how to get it back there, and then you you made it fast. <laughs> <laughs> that was one crazy night because we found like I think two of these tricks that we we're gonna do in the run in the same day. That injury mm -hmm. skip, I think we found at least like within a couple days. Yeah, I remember that. That was that was really cool. I like how this room is done better. Go ahead. Yeah, I know, it's crazy, eh? But yeah, in this room you'll see he's gonna do like a reflip here. Uh, you might be thinking this flip looks really slow, uh, but actually, it doesn't save time here. It hasn't even saved time yet. It's just gonna save time in the cutscene after hitting the switch. Uh, so when these like uh, enemies like fall in, they'll fall in like much faster because it actually catches one of them before it rolls over the gap. Uh, so then, when you see the ones on the left side of the screen, when they're coming back, uh, they'll c actually come back much faster, so it saves like oh. probably about half a second, if I recall correctly. Very cool. Really cool. <laughs> yeah. I like how the top of that door always gets clipped off. <laughs> Using throw there to save an extra like 10 frames. That yeah. was pretty tricky, RTA. That was actually found by, uh, Andrick. Oh yeah? 
Way back. I way. never knew who found that one. <laughs> I've done yeah, the, I've done do the that. thing for the longest time, and then I and then I stopped, and then I started doing it again because I realized it was faster. <laughs> I'm excited to see this this boss fight. Oh yeah, Frog Tail should be really cool. Uh, so, people have done the uh, this uh, enemy double jump strat before in RTA. I'm not sure if he's gonna use it though because I'm not sure. We'll, we'll have to see. Yeah. It's definitely RTA doable though. It's just no one's really done it in it's, runs or anything. It's a scary trick to do in RTA. Okay, yeah. So it looks like okay, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, that's. Uh... It makes sense though. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't attempt that in an RTA run, that's for sure. <laughs> Me neither. And the reason why is just because uh, when you bounce off the antenna, you like, you like kind of like bounce out and you have to like, you, you don't even see Mario at all, right? So yeah, it's you completely like, off screen. You have to like adjust while you're off screen and it's just way too hard. There's nine times out of ten you're just going to fall off unless we get like a good setup for it. Which is definitely possible too, so. So there's a lot of little tiny things that uh, we've done to optimize this room. Um, I mean, while it is basically a side scroller to get to on top of the boss, we've figured out how to manipulate the boss to get come a little faster. <laughs> hey, yeah, pretty cool. Whoa, what's I... happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, this one hasn't been done in RTA, but it's all I can matter is. Because <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's frame perfect, uh, like the frame perfectly pressing left and then right. Yeah, frame yeah, perfect yeah. RTA scooter, <clears throat> scooter Mario. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't save time, so obviously it's allowed. <laughs> so Mario, um, well, Ghost actually flipped there on purpose so that he could take 3D damage, so that he could just jump straight onto the boss here. Wow, that is so cool. <laughs> that throw grab was like literally perfect. Oh, wow. oh my goodness. Kind of nuts. <laughs> and perfect so far away. <laughs> and then right here, actually found by Zimbo, uh, we're gonna do a uh, flip here, and this flip is going to make it so we kind of like move with the screen, because uh, the game doesn't actually like stop Fractales and then, and then while. Uh, we're close to him. We just do a mid-air jump. And actually, what's cool is if you're holding this guy, he pushes you, so it makes it like barely just work. Uh, you can do it without holding him. It's just it makes it so much easier. Wow. Oh man, this game is so much fun to watch now. There's so many I know, cool it's tricks. Crazy. Like literally every level has multiple, multiple tricks. It's mm -hmm. crazy now. Dang, we are already 30 seconds ahead of the. Uh... <laughs> The community some of best yeah and the best round ever up till this point was like 24 20 or something or 24 oh 10 goodness. so we're gonna be almost a minute ahead of that hiding behind the pillar chad move <laughs> what's cool with that cutscene is uh it's just like a timer after you pass like a certain part in the room so, so you just have to wait and so everyone kind of has their own like swag strat that they do. <laughs> I used to hide behind the pillar for the longest time, and now I started like jumping around a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure I've had like 2420s. I I don't really remember too much. I think my PB, like my record, should be like something around uh, 2430 at least. Wow, nine seconds faster. Nine seconds ahead of of yours. Oh, just in the level. That's crazy. Wow, that's nuts. <laughs> And that time save is only going to go up and up and up, especially as the run goes on. Mm -hmm. Just because there's so much more control you have in like the last like couple chapters with like yeah. saving time and stuff. 
yeah, the harder the tricks, the the more time there is to save per level. Like that key early was literally perfect. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's probably where the majority of the time save came from. Hundred percent. And then yeah, key early being good at that <laughs> smashing too, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Yeah, anywhere where there's dialogue. Yeah, because anywhere where there's text in this game, I probably I, I probably lose like maybe a minute over the whole run to like perfect mashing. Mm -hmm. Like like the best a human could do. So yeah. that's definitely one place I wanna start making time up on. <laughs> Cause it's crazy how much it adds up, because like I lose like two seconds over what Ghost got in this prologue. He added the, uh, the lag. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that one, no. <laughs> yeah, he, he posted, or there's like a little blip on the screen where it says Wii U VC lag. Yeah, I saw that in 1-1, one -one. that was funny. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's really strange with this game how, the, like, the lag works. They're actually, the lag spikes are generally very consistent. Uh, so there's like always leg spike there, and there's always like a leg spike in um, one dash one. Yep. And what's funny is sometimes, very rarely, the leg spike just doesn't happen, and then you just get like a second faster segment, and you just, just can't beat it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that always happened to me in like pre chapter two, before I just couldn't beat my segment just because of ha not having a leg spike here. And also, you might be wondering why we're playing as Peach all of a sudden, so... Uh, after beating the first chapter, uh, we learned that Peach is actually in Black's Castle, which we'll, we'll later learn to be Chapter 8. Uh, but this little Peach intermission kind of shows us that Peach is gonna get, like, teleported out of this world, and we'll actually have access to Peach in Flipside, uh, so... We'll try and save her, basically, with a soup. Not sure how that works, but okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, these pre-chapter segments, there's there's not too many skips until later into the run. I like how Ghost uh, has added in all of the lag spikes. Yeah. And what's I funny is after this door, in, uh, when we do Darkroom GBS, there's no lag spikes. But when we did like normal GBS, like in like the Lightroom, you get two huge lag spikes after the chapter door there. It was so funny, I'd be like, it'd pause, and then it'd pause again. <laughs> yeah, true. So, of course, we have prior knowledge of the fact that Peach is going to need to be saved. So instead of going straight there, we're just going to go grab our spicy soup so that we can save her immediately. I was close, we're actually going to utilize the return pipe for the first time as well. Uh, so sometimes it just takes too long to get back to places. We're just going to use the return pipe to like kind of cut the time down a little bit. Uh, so instead of climbing up two elevator, two or three elevators, we can just use the return pipe and then just jump down and then we're good to go. Very cool. Uh, so you'll notice here uh, when we talk to Saffron, actually the first thing in the inventory should be the fire burst yeah mm -hmm. um it's kind of nice to not like grab extra items just because then you don't have the menu be a little slower. yeah exactly because i remember for the longest time when we did L lsj we had to do like we had to press down like four times there or something crazy <laughs> yeah but now we don't even press down at all <laughs> <laughs> did xyle actually eat the scoop oh man that's crazy <laughs> Oh like while return fighting or something. I feel bad. I've never done that. What would you even do? I guess you'd go back and buy another soup or another fire burst. No way, that's crazy. <laughs> oh. yeah. Very cool. I am so excited to see chapter two. Yeah, same. Chapter two is gonna be really cool. 
And what's cool is you can talk to Peach, but like while you're inside Merlin here. I'm actually not yeah. really sure why you can jump towards Peach, because I'm pretty sure you can talk to Peach like much further away. If you don't jump. Mm -hmm. It's the same frame. Oh really? That's cool. Guess we get that swag jump then. <laughs> And then once we do the sequence, we'll get the 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 gate key, which will allow us <laughs> access to get to the other half of flip side. Yeah. Unfortunately, Peach is not as fast as Mario, and she can't flip into 3D, so once we obtain Peach, we immediately swap back to Mario. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's funny, because in that cutscene, the most useful thing is getting the gate key, not getting Peach. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. So, actually, we use the soup to get the gate key. We don't care about Peach at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zach and I, uh, well, Zach was doing some testings, and I think we had some kind of theory that we should stay out as Peach, but Mario just even walks faster than Peach, so it, it just wasn't faster. Yeah, it's just so much faster. Like, mm -hmm. if you walk for 10 seconds, you're already losing a couple seconds as Peach. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, man. And uh, right here, we're gonna do a little jump up to the heart pillar. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly which type of jump he's gonna do. It's just a normal squiggle jump, cool. Uh, so we can just throw the squiggle on the ledge here and jump off of it, which is nice. A couple different methods to get up there. Yep. I think the fastest uh, might be an enemy double jump. Uh, but I can get it to be worth it for RTA. Mm -hmm. Pass to us some pretty cool stuff there. Yeah, he will be stuck there for the rest of time. <laughs> well, until the cutscene's over. Wait, you can do it without any enemies? That was cool. Then I know that. <laughs> and then I believe right here is going to be another little leg spike that he's going to add in. When opening those doors, usually it takes forever. Yep. <laughs> oh, those look so funny. Dude, I love and it. And we are currently 50 seconds ahead of the community song. Probably like wow. a minute ahead of record right now. A minute or even more. That's insane. I need right, a minute ahead of here. <laughs> Get your cat jams out. Alrighty, time for chapter two. Hey, chat's forever jam. So you see in this first room, we literally use Peach exactly to cross the gap and like the frame we land, we're just gonna switch back to Mario just so we get that top speed again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then right, oh, para right here that. actually. Or para, yes, para so, trooper. This was found quite a while ago actually. I, I'm pretty sure it was just found by Karage, uh, yep. if I'm not mistaken. And I saw it was in his cast anyways. Yeah. Uh, so basically what we do is we jump an extra time so the platform stays higher and then we do a full speed jump to the right and we can just barely touch that paracuba to bounce off of him and barely make it up there save like one or two seconds for rta mm -hmm. cool little uh paracuba jump coming up right here oh yeah it doesn't even grab the pal fills <laughs> i guess he doesn't need the points <laughs> He, he decided against it, oh my goodness, that's funny. Yeah, in RTA we always grab those guys, because we get about 2k tax, oh. or 2k points. Yeah, true, Sorry we because actually of the text. You don't get we haven't, uh, we do have a text box, because we we didn't get uh, the pal pills in 1-3. That's true! Oh, right, I forgot he didn't that's get those. Smart. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say it. 
could maybe be worth even cutting those out in 1-3. Uh, the reason why we cut out the Ghost Shroom actually in 1-3 is just because of that long text box. So it could be worth that looking into that. Interesting. Too. Yeah, that might be something worth picking up in uh, other RTRNs. I'm actually writing down notes for uh, <laughs> things to try. <laughs> Zach's, right now, so. <laughs> Zach's taking notes. <laughs> That's awesome. Absolutely, I have. Gotta save all the time we can. That's that's why this task was made, by the way, just to like help push RTA a lot more. At least I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure that's what Ghost Intention was with making it. Yeah, for sure. This is gonna be a really cool resource for people to look at too, to see what's fastest to do in, in each room. Oh yeah, hundred percent. And then right here we're gonna actually jump off this uh this dragon and what's cool is if we press right right when we hit the block there we kind of like bounce off it and save like an extra like half second and boomer skip i'll let you take it away flash since you it was found like while i wasn't even running so yeah so this was actually found by mohawk on my birthday <laughs> um super <laughs> cool trick uh for the longest time we used to do a live stream jump to get up there and it was only done by one runner uh i'm dead um and that run ended up crashing. But now, uh, thanks to Mohawk, we just use a shell shock to hit that switch that was up there. Yeah, and it's actually incredibly easy. Like, it's funny, more people have failed that trick by failing pressing the shell shock than actually like failing the trick, I feel like. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> Dang, that is funny. The amount of times I failed that from pressing the shell shock, it's crazy. And I like I've only failed it like actually like a couple times. <laughs> Yeah, so the game will actually just give us the pixel back. Uh, that was the same thing that happened with the row. Mm -hmm. Forgot to mention that. And what's cool is literally every single pixel that's given back to you, if you skip them, we skip. So. Yep. If a pixel excited, can be skip skipped, skipped, it will be so. skipped. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Yep. And then right here, he actually did something cool in opening the door there. If you turn back around, like you press down when you open it, it saves an extra, like, I don't, I don't remember how many frames, it might have been like 20 frames. It's like a 30 oh, second. 10, 10 frames, cool. 30. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no, guys. I think oh, we saw What are we gonna do? I think oh, Tass no. is gonna die. Oh god. Look at him, he's freaking out. <laughs> Oh no! He doesn't know what to do! <laughs> okay, maybe if we use that special ability, you know, that thing that Pistogius <laughs> gave us, what was it called again? What was that ability called? Oh, oh yeah. Flip. Oh shoot, oh. we're dead. Oh, <laughs> oh no, it's all, yeah, it's all, it's all okay. <laughs> what's crazy here <laughs> is we actually do a little time save in this room that was just found recently. Uh, when you let the spikes fall and you flip while they're going up, while they're going up, the timer actually moves while you're flipping. So it just saves like a second to flip at the right place there. Wow. Bye bye, Boomer. Yeah. <laughs> Rip Boomer. Yep, fell through, the fell through the floor. I did not see that. That's that was cute. so cool. And then uh, right here in this room, actually, um, Ghost figured out something after finishing the task. It saves like 20 or 30 frames to land on the back of the dog here. Uh, and Mario doesn't do like this weird turnaround animation during the cutscene. It was funny because he he didn't land on it because obviously you wouldn't want to land on an enemy generally because it might slow you down. Uh, but he noticed that I landed on it and I saved like 20 or 30 frames over what he did. So Wow. Always something to learn from doing these things. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, like that, that still has a really, really interesting hitbox too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can just jump right through its mouth. Uh, you only have a hitbox at the top of it, and his body and the top of it. And it's funny because his mouth is like the biggest part of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm excited to see 2-3. Yeah, so this level... The keyframe is going to be for the keypad. Oh yeah, that'll be cool. And then, actually what's cool about this level is there's actually a cycle uh, we could technically make, uh, but it's not really RTA viable just because you have to do ladder jumps. And you also have to play like insanely optimally. Uh, so I'm guessing what he's going to do here is just enter a door. And if you enter the door, it actually reloads the, the cycle for the things at the top of the room, which saves like an extra third of a second for wow. Slim Skip coming up. 
And I guess I'll explain Slim's skip because I actually found the method we're going to do for this one. Very cool. Uh, so we used to use like a life shroom, uh, but I found that if you do like a flip on top of like the the like blocks on the side of it, uh, if you hold up and jump, you can actually clip right through it. Because uh, we actually knew of this clipping method from Zimbo before. It's just it wouldn't be used much because it only helps you clip through actors and not like actual like walls and collision. That's crazy. Super cool. Try making it realistic. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it was really clean movement. Wow, he's not even that far from the platform. So you can actually hold up for a lot less time, so you won't so you'll stay like further to the right there. So it actually saves time if you let go of up as fast as you can when doing those clips. Yeah, well, the three, the three, four keypads are very like realistic to do fast in RTA because you can yeah. you can yellow them for sure because you're basically just pressing the same button over and over. But with that one, it's like so much more dynamic, I guess. Just slips through the rails. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and that's another pixel skip, believe it or not. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, right there, basically, uh, what he does, he just, if you jump and hold, like, upright, you can just, like, clip through the bars. You don't actually need Slim there, which is crazy. So, yes, the speedrunners do memorize the code. It's 412-62816. I used to have it actually as my lock screen on my phone for the longest time when I started <laughs> I still running have the game. It as my fucking lock screen. <laughs> <laughs> Because I would always forget it, and so <laughs> if I wanted to get into my phone, I had to know how to speedrun Super Paper Mario. <laughs> the 5-2 code? Yeah, I have no, we don't need that. You'll see when we get there. <laughs> but you also have D-guns like me who still remember it. Alright guys, watch out, really here's the easy. nightmare fuel. Oh yeah, oh no. Hi. Right before nightmare fuel. Or well, actually no, I think it's, we're gonna see a second Merly here. Pretty scary. But if you actually click like the bottom option on this one, you'll see like 5 seconds. Which is cool. Yeah, if you agree to follow her rather than trying to fight her, it's much faster. And then you disagree. It's kind of like Francis later in the run. <laughs> yeah. I go along with them a little bit, just enough to make them not take forever. And then once exactly. you go along with them, you say, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. And that jump right there actually saves like a handful of frames where you Whoa. get the bounce off Mimi. That was really cool. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely do been done RTA, it's just like, it's kind of questionable if we should even do it. Yeah. Because sometimes we'll lose time, sometimes we'll save time kind of thing. In a perfect world, we will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in a perfect world. <laughs> I don't think we actually explain doors if one of you wants to explain like the turnarounds and everything that we're seeing. Yeah, so basically every time um, that you'll see Ghost enter a door. Uh, a lot of the times you'll see Mario turn back, just like right here. Uh, that is to get Tippy and the Pixel closer to the door, so it saves frames on the entering cutscene because all of your party members are closest to the door. Yeah, and so like for example, if Mario were to open up the door as soon as possible, um, Mario would have to walk to the door, but also um, Slim and Tippy would have to go all the way across the room to get to the center before they would be able to enter. It's not used in very much places, uh, but it's also slightly faster uh, to open in like the middle of the door so Mario doesn't have to walk. Uh, you'll see that when we don't have pixels at all, we'll just enter in the middle. And what's cool also is sometimes we'll enter just past the middle. Uh, so like our character would move closer or like further from the door, but our pixels would actually be closer. So it still saves time. 
over like just entering it in the middle to enter like further to the right, if that makes sense. Uh, so we'll see that maybe once or twice in a couple of very specific scenarios. Yeah, something Ghost pointed out really cool worth mentioning. Also, another thing I discovered, the last pixel to enter the door, where they go on the door is RNG. So basically, if you if you look at them, they'll like, they'll like hover over the door for like half a second before they go in. So I guess that spot is RNG, so sometimes you lose time to literally nothing. That's crazy, I didn't know that. <laughs> and right here, it doesn't actually matter what option you select, because the text is like the same every time, it seems like. Yep. And then you're just losing like a few frames clicking the other options. Something that does save time though is clicking the correct uh, Merly. It'll just mm -hmm. save like a few frames. Because the game tries to like zap Mario or something with like some gray lightning or whatever. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is the 2-4 Mimi fight, this is the final boss fight of Chapter 2. Uh, there's a lot of different cutscenes with Mimi and Merle that we're going to have to go through. Um, so a couple text boxes will pop up. But as you can see, basically doing consecutive chain jumps is fastest here. And what's cool is you'll notice at the end of the fight, actually he might not do it because he's probably going to do a kind of different note. Uh, but in most RTA runs, we actually switch to Boomer, so that maybe like kind of falls down while we're switching pixels. Uh, but he's actually not going to do that, uh, because we don't actually need Boomer, it just requires a pretty tricky uh, clip during pre-chapter 3, uh, so we'll get to that later. Yeah, I'd say I'm fairly consistent at the corner flip too. It just like it sucks because once you fail it like once, you're already like struggling to save time. Yeah. I remember six oh actually... six. That's crazy. Oh wow. Dang, these are really fun to see. Already a minute ahead. I actually remember finding that that corner clip because of some weird movement. I figured out that you could like do a life shroom jump to make it into a uh, into the pipe early. But then, well, I didn't find the corner clip. Uh, Mohawk did. <laughs> I don't remember who found it, but there was some like also like really easy way to clip through it. It's just it was slightly slower, mm -hmm. where you can like jump and like the respawn position will just update you inside the pipe for some reason. Oh, oh, that's right, that's I'm not right. Sure who found that? I think it was PTL maybe. Maybe because I remember PTL, we were he actually that. found a time save during the segment too. That will go over. Oh yeah, the HP plus early. Yeah. <laughs> So instead we're gonna go left this time instead of going right because the game just got bored of doing the same thing over and over. <laughs> Plot twist! Switching <laughs> it up a little bit. Yeah. Also we have Gary and Goomba number two. Gary obviously the fan favorite. Clearly. Everybody oh, yeah. loves Gary. <laughs> <laughs> The only person who doesn't like Gary is uh, Dementio, I guess. Or is it Mimi in this cutscene? I don't even watch the cutscenes anymore. <laughs> I think uh, like, Nastasia is in all of Nastasia, these cutscenes. Yeah, that's who it is. Yeah, okay. I was thinking Dementio for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. That's funny. Yeah. I've done the run so many times I don't even look at my screen anymore while I'm mashing. <laughs> I used to always jump over those torches. 
Oh yeah. Same. But in Japanese. I almost forgot that this was in Japanese until now. <laughs> I don't even like look at the text boxes anymore. Yeah, same. Yeah, it seems like something like 40 seconds. 40 seconds to like a minute and a half. No one's really done like a proper timing, but it's somewhere between like one and two minutes that it saves playing on Japanese. And then it also saves an extra two minutes, 20 seconds on top of that uh, for doing GBS because that's only possible on a 1.0 version. And for Wii U VC, JP is the only 1.0 version that we have access to. Well, it's, I think it's 1.01, but it still works. Very cool. Actually, you'll notice when jumping off the tower here, he's done it a couple times, uh, but he's just gonna jump and make sure he lands, like, right past the ledge. Just because Mario will be at his full falling speed already, so it saves, like, a quarter of a second each time. So there should be another leg spike here, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool that he added all those in. Yeah, 100%. That one actually wasn't in the route when we did LSJ. Fun fact. And then here we'll see another corner clip. Uh, actually, I don't even think we went over corner clips. Uh, if you're like holding two while you're entering a corner, uh, basically what will happen is Mario will just clip through it if you're crouching. Uh, so we did that during key early, and then we're just going to do it here to save a few seconds from switching back and forth to Boomer and Slum. Not the most common clipping method, just because it's uh, it's pretty limited. Uh, we're gonna see actually a really cool clipping method later on that will involve a uh, slim and a gold bar. Uh, so we're gonna get our gold bar in three, two, and then we'll be able to clip through almost any wall and ceiling and or wall and floor. Sorry, we'll see it later. So the splits that you see on screen are comparing against the community some of best. So these are all like the best segment times that have ever been achieved by our runners um and as you can see we're currently a minute ahead yep and between each segment um whenever he splits you will notice that um there is a timer that shows you um how fast he beat that individual segment so shout outs to ptl for this one uh we're gonna clip through the wall here by just holding up right and we can just go open the chest uh we used to think we had to flip there uh, but I don't remember who found a holding up right there. Um, it was Ghost. Oh, they should have been dead. Uh, but if you hold up right, it'll just clip right through the wall. You can open that chest super early. And once we sell this item, we'll get 400 coins. Very cool. Yeah, so you saw in that segment, um, when Mario hit the hammer, that he beat uh, that segment by 5 seconds. It's crazy. So we're actually going to witness like the hardest trick in the game. That's called very skip. And all you got to do is not press up and we'll save like a minute. Believe it or not, I have actually failed berry skip several times in my earlier runs. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't get berry just yet, but we can still have a nice little chit chat with them and lose like a minute for free. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, oh, in this no. first room, we're gonna we're gonna witness a cool little time save that I found uh, earlier this year. If you kick the shell and switch to Peach and then switch to Boomer, uh, the Piranha will just uh, kind of hide out again. We can actually just jump right off of it onto this block. Very and from cool. the block, we can do the Peach jump, and it not only makes it easier, it also saves like zero point seven seconds. So, yeah, so cool. actually, it was a second. I don't I don't remember how much it saved. I just remember it's good. <laughs> It's nice organizing all the different pixel switches to place them, or character switches in the most optimal order. Saves oh, yeah, surprisingly absolutely. a lot amount of time. I don't know if we're gonna see it uh, in 3-3 in this run, because yeah, I found it after the run was finished, uh, but we actually use a throw switch to save an extra second in 
and RT runs. That was crazy, by the way. <laughs> yeah, this this tuning movement is sick. Yeah, it's so cool. I think I was the first one to come up with it for RTA, uh, but it's it's really easy. You just kind of jump over the a couple enemies and you just save like two seconds. I still think all the newer runners are insane. <laughs> I know we're actually just gonna fight Bowser with Boomer. Uh, I think he might have an extra attack level on us. Actually, no, I don't think so. No. I think he still has three, three damage. Five. Oh goodness. Yeah, Wait, I think it's five. For... Here we go. Did we yeah. level up? Uh, we did. Uh, he hit the six DK uh, like really oh, early in the run. So. Wow. But yeah, that's the same level we have in RT runs right now, which is nice. Wow, that is so cool, man! I am I am out of uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of the loop with modern SPM speedrunning. We <laughs> yeah. used to not get hit that much until uh, I think uh, five two, <laughs> or maybe not five two. Yeah, five two. Right yeah. The, that's one we got. Or well, we get 60k for uh, Brobot, and then mm -hmm. that's that's what we used to do. Yeah, yeah, the that's right. yeah. He had 60k and one one, <laughs> and we used to hit him four four. It was crazy. And we're just gonna switch to back to Mario here, just to hit the star block. Uh, it's actually slower for to switch back now, but we're just gonna save more time in three two. So, fun fact: you can actually finish the level faster if you stay Bowser. Right there. Yeah, it's crazy that the world record is only five minutes off of the community sum of best. <laughs> Shout out to Zach. <laughs> <laughs> crazy runner. Can still be a lot faster too. Or I'm trying to improve it more. <laughs> and definitely this task will help a lot. Oh, for sure. I already have about four good notes written down. <laughs> 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 and then again, yeah, this level actually, it's really cool. Uh, so your walking speed is, I think it's like a frame per second faster if you're walking on the ground than, rather than swimming. Uh, but the biggest time save is actually if we get out of the water. Uh, so what he does lots is he kind of swims up as high as he can uh, to swim out of the water. And when you're out of the water, you actually go like your normal full walking speed, uh, which I believe is three. And what's cool is actually you can hold two to like fall slower as well. So when you jump out of the water, you want to hold two the whole time. So you fall back into the water as slow as possible. Very cool. Also, we've obtained the most broken item in the entire game. The gold bar. The gold bar. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, we used to sell it for like 50 coins or something like that. Mm. But apparently now it saves like menace. <laughs> so you'll notice Ghost actually opens the doors underwater as far away as possible. Uh, this is just because... Oh, <laughs> that was wow. crazy. The room was insane. There's a handful of people who have ever seen a room like that before. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, like you want to open the doors as far away underwater just because it's the cutscene speed is the exact same as it is in the overworld. Uh, it's just the walking speed underwater is like half. So mm -hmm. you just want to open the door instantly. And what's cool here is it's actually we found out it's like a few frames faster to open those traps with Bowser instead of Mario. Um, so pretty cool time save there. Even though Bowser moves slower, it still saves time. Just because the text is faster as Bowser. Very cool. Also, probably one of the most broken pixels in the game, Thudley. <laughs> Man, 3 okay. just gives us the most broken things in the entire game. <laughs> Here we go, honestly. 3-2's loaded. Mm-hmm. 3-2 itself is not like the most exciting level, but like at least we get a lot of useful things out of it. Yeah. And then we get to showcase all of it in 3-3. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah. And actually, uh, what's interesting here is you're just gonna see him like like go on the ground as much as possible, uh, just to say that extra like point one speed. Yeah. So even here, we're gonna go on the ground too. So for this last turn, we're going to have a lot of uh, above water movements, so Ghost is just going to be mashing to as fast as he can to just get out of the water and then just holding it to make sure he gets back in the water as late as possible. And then we're just going to switch to Bowser right before the cutscene, or actually on the cutscene because it'll save an extra few frames. Which is what he did there. <laughs> So this fight has seen a lot, and I mean a lot of strat development, because uh, it's a long cutscene. Flash, you want to go over how we used to do it? Yeah, absolutely. So if you see the red tentacle there, that's the one that we're trying to hit. And so early on, we figured out how to manipulate the tentacle by flipping into 3D and hitting it with Bowser. And so it took a lot of Mario to Bowser, Mario to Bowser to manipulate it, but... <laughs> Mario Bowser flip, Mario Bowser flip, uh, but now instead we're just gonna hold the fire from the start of the fight and we're just gonna hit this red tentacle right away mm -hmm. and we're just gonna switch to Mario just so the red tentacle actually moves to the left a little bit and then we're just gonna ground pound it twice. <laughs> Crazy. And there's a really, there's a really really good setup for RTA there that I found a while ago and actually what's cool at the end here is three jumps out of the water saves like an extra second over doing two. Very cool. Saves so much time. Like, being out of the water saves way too much time is actually ridiculous. <laughs> so, to and answer then, the question in the chat, um, there used to be RNG manipulation, if you want to call it that, but now it's just consistent movement. <laughs> yeah, it's literally, you just, you just move, move Mario the same way. The tentacles were slightly random, uh, but if you were on the bottom half of the screen when you'd flip, they'd always come up right, right before you're done switching characters, which was cool for the old way. Mm-hmm. There's nothing really cool. It actually here. says like, yeah, we we're actually going to do these right at the beginning of that level there. Um, normally, I mean, in the past, I think we've gone to the right a little bit and done one thudly, but uh, I believe it is faster to do the two at the beginning there. Wow, and then it's faster to do an extra thudly there just for no reason. Wow, that's <laughs> crazy. Wow. That's not. <laughs> yeah, this this movement is and right it's so cool. <laughs> And right there, you, you notice at the end, he did a little uh, Koopa damage boost. That was actually probably the first strat in the run we're going to see that was found by your Gurmi. Uh, so if you, like, jump right there, you can just get damage boost by the Koopa, and it saves, like, half a second or so the way he did it. He, actually, it's funny, because he moved too fast that he couldn't spend much time with that as we normally do, because he was just way too fast for the Koopa. <laughs> That's funny. All right, everybody. Get your channel points ready. It's almost okay, time so for this is a this is a very insane trick. Uh, so we're gonna see our first gold bar clip, which was found by Yogurmi. Actually, uh, you're gonna kind of notice that pattern. He's found a lot of things for this game. Uh, and then once we clip through the wall, we're gonna place Boomer, and then we're gonna flip in uh, 2D. And it's funny because actually my brother found that. Uh, so if you flip back into 2D. Uh, oh, cool. Boomer just falls onto the lower ledge, and you can just explode him. And you'll notice while exploding Boomer, I think it's like 11 frames after you start holding one or something like that. It's a certain number of frames after, you can actually frame perfectly, pause the game, and switch pixels. And it saves an extra two seconds on top of that. It's just a lot of time saved on water. <laughs> Super cool. I didn't know your brother found that, that's awesome. Yeah, he, he, Yoshi runs, he actually runs Breath of the Wild. Also, that was a fucking crazy fight. <laughs> oh, that's your brother! I follow him on Twitter. <laughs> he does all kinds of cool stuff on Breath of the Wild. That's awesome. Yeah, it was funny, I was like sitting there trying all these free step methods. I found like a 7 second time save. He's like, why don't you just try using Boomer? I'm like, okay. I don't know how that's gonna work, and I just place Boomer and flip and then it works. I was like, okay. It's funny because he also found the 4 cycle, grind. Right? Oh, wow. <laughs> also, a uh, shout out to the, uh, uh, that one cycle Dementio fight. 
Yeah, that was nuts. And this fast wind, oh my goodness. Yeah, this is too fast, sick. man. <laughs> Dude, this 3 3 is crazy. Where there will be luck, there will be time save. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the Thudley at the end. Love to see it. Mm -hmm. I love pressing Thudley there. It's so nice because if you go too early, you just hold one and it'll just buffer the next jump like perfectly. <laughs> so cool. God bless them. <laughs> and yeah, you'll notice actually while he was doing the movement right after the Dementio fight, it was actually a really, really tight jump he did. Uh, what's cool is actually, we're gonna use Thoreau here anyways, uh, so in RTA it saves like a second if we switch to Thoreau to start the movement off in 3-3. Um, just because that'll, that'll move the enemy out of the way, and then it makes doing that movement actually realistic, so. 3-11-3-3, that's nuts, man. Yeah, no kidding. I remember when we were like pushing like four minutes, sub four minutes, or no, not even that. Like 450 was like a good run, like when I was running, because we didn't even have like the inside of the tree skip. Yeah, yeah. That. that was insane. There's just a ton of thudly jumps and a bunch, a bunch of amazing daisies that would shoot those stupid notes at you. And yeah. what we were doing was fast at the time, but like, man, I, I remember uh, when we decided to try messing around with the upstairs part, and then uh, Mohawk found it the next day. Absolutely insane. Yeah, it was crazy. Like, I, I literally just started pushing for getting like sub 430 on that segment, because I think I had like a 407 at the time. Mm -hmm. I was trying to save all the time I could out of the tree, and I found so many faster strats. Like, I think I saved like five seconds or something. In the tree, like right when that was found. True. <laughs> I hate those daisies. Here in this room, you're actually gonna see some really cool movement uh, that Ghost uh, came up with. Uh, so you can actually like ground pound this right before the meow bots hit you. Wow. Um, it was known that you could do it. It's just no one's really messed with it enough. And we actually do a strat like that in our team now, which is nice. So an RNG gold bar club in the Realistic tasks. That's interesting. Well, I guess it is possible. It's just yeah. I don't know if anyone cares to <laughs> do their RNG ones. Yeah, it's possible. I guess if you're pinching every second you can in every frame. Yeah. So actually, what's cool is we used to do thudly jumps uh, to go over there. It's just no one ever did it in runs because it was a little too tricky. Uh, but carry skip saves like. 25 seconds or 30 seconds almost now. It's kind of nuts how much crit saves. Uh, what's cool is right when gold bar clipping was found, I, I had like a whole like list of places to try it at. Uh, so that was one of the first ones we started using. And actually right here, uh, we're gonna be doing elevator skip. And what's cool is uh, we actually open this door uh, while it's off screen, which just makes the animation instant. So you'll see that a lot throughout the run too. So cool. And that elevator skip saves like five seconds. We just implemented it for RTA. Interesting. Um, Cas or, uh, Ghost pointed out that Castle actually has those RNG gold bar clips. That's crazy, man. Yeah, RNG gold bar clips, unfortunately, are just like mathematically like not worth it in runs. Just because yep. you get screwed over by one, then you're losing more time than they saved in the whole run. And the chances of you not getting screwed over in a run is like ridiculously low, unfortunately. Yeah, no but yeah, the best way to manipulate the gold bar's position is just to use like 3D and throw it against the wall. Yep. I remember when we originally found Dottie Skip when we were using the gold bar, we just throw it and pray. That was funny. <laughs> yeah, oh my <laughs> goodness. That was, that was, was miserable. <laughs> I remember uh, waking up that morning and then John had posted it overnight. Oh, by the way, I found Dottie Skip and then we were all just like, crap. <laughs> <laughs> now we just have to wait on an RNG throw. <laughs> I was crazier than that is we had to grab an extra shell shock. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dude, that was funny. Thankfully, we cut that one out. And then we also had to use a shell shock in 3 3 before to do the tree skip. Uh, which we also thankfully uh, cut out. But 
It's funny because if we didn't find everything we could have at, at one point in the run, we might have been buying six six shell shocks. <laughs> yeah. Literal full inventory of shell shocks. Now we don't even use them. We just use the one for boomer skip. And I'm sure if we didn't have if we didn't have it, we'd find a different way. Um, so unfortunately, uh, Ghost didn't know about the corner clip in this room, uh, but it saves a second to do a corner clip here, and it's used in runs too, which is nice. Man, these me me meow bots really like to chase you, they just chase you across the whole room. They're so annoying. Yeah. But this one, uh, thankfully, uh, oh. we can go. Uh, so this one's actually a lot easier than the last room too. This one you just press two and let go. Uh, but the last room you actually have to repress the two button. They're both not that bad though. That's actually really cool. They save a second each. Sub 110's Naughty XE. Pog cap. <laughs> so I believe this run is gonna be like two or three minutes ahead of the record now. Which is just insane. Maybe even four or five. <laughs> And then actually during this uh, this like uh, text sequence here, it's actually faster to click the third option uh, for this text box here. Uh, so you kind of say like, you kind of like say like, oh, oh, I love you, oh, I hate you, and then <laughs> basically yeah. when you say I hate you, he's like, oh, I'm sorry, and then that's his text box. <laughs> yeah, if you say like the first one, like I love you, he's like super flustered and he doesn't know what to do, so he takes like forever to answer. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, are you serious? And then you get these, like, 50 billion text boxes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Ghost said, the fastest way to speedrun this game is to manipulate one's feelings. <laughs> 100%. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do to go fast, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Also, good question, Radu. So his question is, um, why don't we thudly jump instead of looking at the super long bridge making cutscene? And the answer is, like Ghost said, there's there's no floor on the other side. There's no way we can... Actually, thinking about it, in theory, is, is the door there? Maybe we could, like, take damage somehow and open up the door. I don't know. <laughs> no, unfortunately for, like, the, for, like, the damage uh, thing, it has to be a lock. It can't be, like, a regular door. Mm. Got it. And then here, actually, we're gonna see Francis without the Ice Storm. Uh, so we're just gonna do uh, three ground bound hits and then one fire or jump hit. Kind of depends on what he wants to do. Just a jump hit. Yeah. Very... Uh, what's cool is when you're when you're on the left wall there, he always spawns uh, like right beside you, pretty much. So you can just keep hitting him. And what's cool is once you've hit him once, he'll actually spawn right behind you, like a, a second after he despawns. So you can kind of use that to your advantage as well to make the fight very consistent for RTA. Tippy was holding out on us. She had the pure heart. <laughs> Man, all that <laughs> time we could have saved. That's crazy. Twenty two seconds. Fifty. Wow. I'm just gonna open my splits right now and see how much further ahead this is. Yeah, I'm curious to know. So this is oh. three and a half minutes ahead of my PB right now. 
Oh wait, no, that's three and a half minutes out of my summon pass. Ahead of my PB, it is... Oh yeah, uh, th yeah, three and a half minutes, my bad. I, th I thought I was comparing wow. some of us. Yeah, three and a half minutes ahead of PB, that's, that's awesome. nuts. That is crazy. Also, John just chastised me. Apparently Tippy did not have the pure heart. <laughs> it was gone <laughs> with a burst of love. <laughs> John disproving everybody as always. <laughs> <laughs> so Francis did not buy the castle, he stole it from the the ancients. <laughs> <laughs> and right here we're gonna actually utilize another gold bar clip. Uh I I believe yeah, this one was found by Agrimi as well. Uh so we're just gonna do a gold bar clip into the right wall and Holy, he does it so far from the wall, it's crazy. Uh, but yeah, this will save something like five seconds over just going down normally. And actually, if you're tasked, you can just barely make this. Oh, actually, no, you can't. Okay, never mind. I guess he just waited because <laughs> RTA would always get damaged before then. Uh, so actually, for RTA, uh, it's actually better to flip there. It seemed like if you're taking the damage, it's better to be flipped. That way you don't have to wait as much. Mm -hmm. It kind of depends on your movement. If your movement's like really bad, you take the damage, right? So you don't lose the second to flipping. But if if you're that fa if you're like as fast as he was, for example, it's better to just reflip. I wonder if he does the fake Inter 4 <laughs> split. That'd be funny. Yeah, that'd be sick. <laughs> Whoa, I'm five, 5,000 years ahead of everybody. Oh, wow! <laughs> Come on. No! <laughs> Invalid run. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, yeah, yeah. He also did manually um, split for all of these. I think. He, he had to re-record it, like he said in the chat, like 15 times. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, theory time. So, I think Mario's a fish. Because he can breathe underwater, but not in space. But when we go grab yeah, the fishball helmet, right? we we let the fish out, <laughs> but you never see him dump the water out. Mario's a fish. <laughs> I think it's a valid theory. <laughs> <laughs> and then right here, we just use another gold bar clip to get to Merlin's house to save like three seconds yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Very cool. And actually, what's cool in the next room is when we're talking to the kid to get the fishbowl, it saves a handful of frames to just turn around and talk to him on the other side. Uh, this way, Mario won't do like a turnaround animation during the cutscene. So we kind of like talk to him right inside of him so that Mario won't have to do the turnaround. <laughs> See? Doesn't doesn't let out the water. Just 
Let's help the fish. It's the fish. Wow, this guy. Yeah. See? <laughs> that was a cool animation. Every time I see these animations of the thing moving across the screen, I go crazy for a second. I'm like, what's happening? It's so <laughs> cool! <laughs> Such a nice touch. Uh, and also, we have Carrie now. I, I think we forgot to mention. Uh, after beating 3-4, the game gave us Carrie. Same thing with all the other pixel skills. Oh, yeah. I, I think Thudley is the only pixel that we've naturally collected so far. Because we can't skip yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because Ludley's unskippable, <laughs> exactly. And she was cool with uh, Carrie. Uh, Carrie moves 1.5 times faster on uh, Mario's base speed, uh, but every single character on Carrie moves the exact same speed, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll sometimes just stay as Bowser just because Bowser isn't actually moving slower than Mario's. Yeah. Very cool. In fact, Bowser's usually faster for movement because he like opens things faster or like hits things from further away. It's just that Bowser can't flip, obviously. Yeah. Silly Bowser. Should have been there. Get the 3D ability. And even in space. I think even in space, it's. It might not be exactly 1.5 times, but it's roughly 1.5 times the speed still, so we'll hop on carry it as much as we can. I don't know the exact numbers, but I do know that carry is just faster. Yeah, 100%. And actually, what's cool with uh, spawning the portal there? Well, three, three speed, four speed. Okay, I thought it was one point five times for moving. I guess I was wrong then. It was just what I was always told. Um, but what's cool with opening that portal is actually you can just hold the A button the whole time you're mashing there, and it'll just it'll just buffer like spawning in the portal. Uh, so you don't actually have the time pressing A on a specific frame or anything, which is nice. So cool that this gets to show off all of them. 100%. They're, they're relatively hard to hit. Oh yeah, and then yeah, the the carry animation skips you. If you press one, the frame you hit the portal. Oh, sorry, I you thought that's what you were happen. talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, sorry. I was talking about the spawning the portal at the start. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, these ones are really cool. Uh, so you just press one right when you hit the portal and you'll hop off carry and it saves like half a second or something. Not quite half a second, but it adds up for sure across 4-1 and 4-3. Now other than that, this level is very, very, very straightforward. Kind of just kill a couple enemies with shooting and that's about it. And what's cool is actually in the last room, we're gonna save an extra half second over what we used to do. As the ghost found that if you stay at the top of the rim, it actually saves about a half a second. Uh, this is just because the bottom of the screen is so much further than the top of the screen. So you kind of have to go down, all the way down and then all the way back up. Wait a minute. Is 4-3 a fetch quest too? Is the entire yeah. chapter 4 just one big fetch quest? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> and then you find out that Squirps had a freaking pure heart the whole time. <laughs> uh, yeah! <laughs> Dude, everybody's holding out on us. Bro, if only we could just, like, force him to g give us the pure heart, then we can just save, like... All right. 20 minutes. <laughs> so, 4 2 is actually a very interesting level. Uh, we're gonna see a couple of interesting things. First of all, we're gonna start to s start by switching to Bowser. Uh, this is because we have to use Bowser later in the screen. Oh. Um, so, obviously, we want to switch them right away uh, just so we don't have to, like, hop on carry or, like, hop off of carry and then switch to him. It's just faster to just switch them right away. Hard. I suppose that. we could actually, we could actually like use the fire uh, while we're in while we're moving too. So we don't start up our movement an extra time, and then we could also fire it on the way down from this jump. And uh, right here, it's actually slightly faster to go jump and hit the blocks with Bowser's head. Um, it's like a couple frames faster than what he did here. Uh, but what's cool in this room, actually, is uh, 
we're just gonna slim through those wall and switch to carry right away, because obviously carry movements fast. <laughs> <laughs> we were in a call with a uh, with a uh, ghost before this, and he's like, "If I missed anything, Zach's gonna notice." <laughs> <laughs> I was cool, actually, uh, in the last room, he skipped doing an extra couple flips that we normally do in RTA. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Ghost. <laughs> Alright, 4 2 grind time. So, as you see in this room right here, there's tons of boom boxers. Uh, we are going to chain jumps uh, off of pretty much all of them in this room. Not all, but almost. Uh, but pretty much, we're going to get to around, I believe. Well, at RTA, we get around like 200, 220. I think it's going to be the same here. We'll see. Don't worry, I will, ghost. <laughs> and look at all those points just flying up. That's that's insane. Yeah, that's awesome. And then, yep. Nuts. 213. Wow. That is such a clean room. That's awesome. And what's cool is we're actually, the whole idea behind doing this grind instead of the 5-2 grind is we're actually moving in the level while we're doing the grind. It's mm -hmm. so like, it only loses like 15 or 20 seconds to actually do this grind. Which is crazy, we make, we spend like 15 seconds to make like 200,000 points to kill bosses like way faster. It's like so worth it. Because actually, I, w I was actually just about to just remove the 5-2 grind completely from the run. Because I was looking at all the point routing options, and it seemed like that might have been the best. Would have saved like five seconds or something. Just doing the boss fights with like stupid strats. Uh, but then, yeah. thankfully, we figured out a much better route. And what's cool about these, uh, these uh, what are they called? Spanias, I think. Or no, not Spanish. What are they called? Fuzzies. Yeah, fuzzies. The fuzzies. <laughs> What's cool about the fuzzies is they actually, like, they always jump over you, so you can kind of just kind of just, like, go under them, which is really nice. Actually, right here in this room, I know it goes flipped here. Uh, you can actually do this without flipping. I uh, would usually save, like, a... Huh. Save, like, an extra, like, second or so. <laughs> That's crazy that you're getting off carry like right at the end there. Gotta love the free perfect movement. I'm gonna open the door on the furthest left place because it saves like a few frames over opening it anywhere else. Very cool. I guess it makes sense, because Mario has to walk to the left right there. Yeah. And then right here in this room, well, that, that animation, I, every time I see it, it throws me off. It's so <laughs> cool. <laughs> so cool. All right here, it's slightly faster to just stay fleet rather than switch to carry and then switch back to fleet. It saves like half a second or something. And something interesting about these like little fleet things is their hitboxes are a lot further upright than they are, than they actually are. So like, if you want to consistently hit them, you kind of want to put it like the thing at the bottom left of the square instead of at the middle. Yeah, <laughs> I think that has to do with your camera movement. Maybe. Maybe we could do some FLC to FLC sweep. <laughs> <laughs> I felt the cutscene. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the camera sees it? Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure what exactly it was, but I guess it is the camera then, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird. And then right here, we're gonna grab a shooting star just to save like 10 seconds in a fight later. Mm -hmm. You just might as well grab it because it's like right on the way and it makes it so much easier too. This is cool movement, like staying in like the middle. Wonder if we should do that. Maybe. Ooh. 
Zach type move in the middle. 4 3. <laughs> <laughs> I'll always take in my notes. <laughs> Uh, what's cool about this room, actually, or maybe not cool, but interesting, is the the uh, thingies, like the moving platform things, are just completely random. But usually they're not too bad to get around. Wow, dude, you can you can use Fleep on that. It's <laughs> we do have to so far, yeah. That's so mm -hmm. cool. What's cool is there's actually like one frame you can like pause to switch to Fleep when you start that cutscene, uh, which seems to save like a frame or so. When you start movement again, you can actually just like hop on carry right away, but you can't pause right away when you start movement, which is unfortunate. Do we still grab the zombie shroom here? No. Oh. We don't need like any of these items. <laughs> wow. I wonder if it would be useful putting <laughs> sparks in the pillar then. This <laughs> I was gonna talk a little bit about it, but I guess we're not. Uh, yeah, just another like uh, carry cat slot then there. <laughs> I was wondering why you went below the blocks when you sent that message right when I was going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to love this, by the way. Oh, look! Look! There I am! <laughs> Wait, where's the block? There he is. It's the, the, bottom hey, corner of the bottom right corner of the gameplay. There he is. Holding the... Uh... Oh. I have the chocolate, chocolate bar! <laughs> <laughs> He's stealing the chocolate bar from the shop. <laughs> I didn't see him pay for it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't see a spot for it on the layout, so I totally got in that one for free. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it would be worth putting squirps in first. Mm. I don't see why it would though. I think no, because you'd have to get on carry an extra time. Mm. Hey, he threw the, the chocolate bar. That was epic. And actually, it's something we learned uh, just recently with ghost testing, or ghost testing it. Uh, it's actually faster to just open these doors right away. Same oh. thing under same thing with the underwater movement. At least I was always trying to do like You've always done that, yeah. I've always tried to do like the turnarounds when turnaround doors are found. Oh gotcha. I suppose we're not supposed to do that anymore. <laughs> Maybe I was just lazy. <laughs> yeah. And now we're coming up to 4-4, which is actually probably one of the coolest levels in the game right now, alongside 5-4. Honestly, all the Dash 4 levels are, like, incredibly cool now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's true. Like, literally all of them are really cool. Turn around is still worth it. I don't know where I got. You want to turn around, like, right at the edge of the door, though. But I guess not for space, it seems like. And then right here, uh, wow, that was crazy. He did like a turnaround door there in 3D. That was nuts. Uh, so actually, we're going to start draining our 3D bar starting now. Uh, so uh, anytime the 3D bar drains, he's actually trying to set it up for a trick that's going to be done in about a minute here. It's actually crazy to me that like we're just still setting up the 3D bar for a trick that's in like five rooms from now. Yeah. That is really cool. Uh, so he's just gonna flip instantly in this room. Uh, this will just make it so he'll be at one 3D bar at the door at one or two. It should be two actually because he'll move pretty fast. <laughs> that was nuts. Wow. And then it turned around well. I think that loft turn around is frame perfect. Pretty sure. I kinda wanna see this room actually. Oh wow, he just like <laughs> beats that tyloid. Cause in in my runs, I when I when I do that, like I I never beat the tyloid to the middle, I always go like past the middle.
And then here we're gonna see actually a trick that was found by John, uh, maybe about a year ago now, a year or two ago. Uh, what's cool is when you take damage right when you touch the chest, uh, you actually open the chest. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> so cool. We had the actually... craziest theories on getting that for the longest time, and then John just so sat down one day and he's like, I'm gonna find it. <laughs> and, he did, and he did. <laughs> and actually what's cool is the whole menu isn't required there, uh, but it was, no one's really done it RT without using the whole menu. Except I did the first day it was found, I did it without home menu because we didn't know. Uh, but for every RTA runner, they're going to use the home menu from, from now on, so I think it definitely represents the human theory task well. But obviously it has been done, so. Dude, I love the, <laughs> the Peach uh, strat there. So cool. <laughs> Man, he's, he's going all the way. Yeah, that Peach strat was really cool. I don't think it's been done RTA yet, but it's definitely possible RTA, so it's not really a concern. You've done it twice RTA, nice. Very it's not good. that hard. Maybe write that one down, let's start doing uh. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold on, let me just type in my loud keyword really quick. <laughs> Zach. <laughs> <laughs> I like that carry movement, that's really cool. Because uh, you actually open the lock significantly faster if you're on carry already. Because you can just dismount carry right at the middle, so you don't actually have to wait for the pixel to go all the way to the door. And then right here we're gonna actually uh, see Mr. L's Mario. <laughs> um, it seems quite odd that we're fighting a boss as Mario, but it saves four seconds if you don't have to switch to Bowser, so... I mean, I don't even think this fight takes four seconds, so it's obviously faster, right? Wow. Dude, that, that fight was super fast. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't realize you could shoot those missiles. Yeah, now that we have 200k, we can just start doing damage right away, and then we just kill them like, right when we grab the second wow. candy. Which is nuts. Yeah. I remember when we did this fight with 60k, it took forever. We have to wait until we get the red candy, and then we'd start shooting, and then it'd take like, probably like, almost a minute long, but now the fight is like 20 seconds long or something just because of the 4 grind. Mm-hmm. I believe, yeah, that and Mr. L saved about half the time 4 grind saves, and then the other half was just doing the grind in a faster place. And there we go, Squirps finally gave us the stupid pure heart, now we can move on. <laughs> Why is it always someone gives you the pure heart? Like, and, and like, Chapter 7, Love Me gives you the pure heart, or actually just becomes the pure heart, but like, why couldn't Love Me just become a pure heart faster? <laughs> just save us like 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, sub 6. That is nuts.
Alrighty. So, we're actually going to be going to flop side in this segment. Also, Tippy is, uh... Tippy's dead. gone. Yeah, <laughs> he's dead, pretty much. Yeah, lots of really cool tricks heading over to flop side. Gonna do some more gold bar clipping if you guys want to get your channel points ready. Get ready to throw your gold bars. So, the trick that we're about to do, it's called flop side early because you can technically do it in like, I think 2-3 as soon as you get slim. Um, and it was... It was theory crafted by quite a few kids. I think Mace Kid was the guy that theory crafted it, and then Hydro was the guy that actually did it. But now we do it just because it's faster. <laughs> you gotta save those seconds here and there. <laughs> actually, what's cool is that I actually found my Igrimi at the end here. It's faster to like tilt the camera over to the right so that the game doesn't do like this weird long like camera tilt animation that you can't flip during. Yeah. Yeah, and then this is the mirror hole gold bar clip. We just skip through this wall. There you I go. think this one was found by me. Yeah, it seems like mm -hmm. a second or so. Uh, but then the flop side early, I think that one was probably found by Igrumi. I think. Yeah. At least like the gold bar clip to save time was found by him. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of people throwing their gold bars, eh? <laughs> I love to see The it. chat is filled with gold bars. <laughs> and then right this here, remember that... Remember that HP plus we got like an hour ago? We're finally gonna sell it now for 400 coins. Big yeah, money. That, that one item is so huge in this run. Yeah, it just makes us so consistent. We used to like route in like getting random coins, which was really awful. And then we'd sell like 50,000 items, but now we only sell one item. And then we're gonna buy two Mighty Tonics, uh, which will come in handy a little later. Uh, I believe, yeah, it's it's faster to only purchase one uh, in theory, uh, but it makes the last fight so ridiculously hard. So we're just gonna purchase two here for the human theory test. But when we see the, the full-on pass, we're probably only going to see one uh, Tonic bot there. Wilderberg! Big shoutouts. And then here's where the... Here's where the pipe, pipe is going to be used. Oh yeah, you'll see zero Tonics right Yeah, That makes sense. Is this a... <laughs> feed the Meatball Tass world record? I don't think so, actually. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Well, actually, I don't know. I feel like someone's got to have just, like, done flopside early and then bought the pipe. <laughs> Maybe on an <laughs> offline run. So, yeah, it costs, like, 20 seconds to buy the pipe. Everybody will save, like, a minute each time we go back to, to flopside. And actually, uh, something crazy we were looking at a few, maybe like a week or two ago, was opening this door. It seems to be possible. It seems like it could potentially be faster for Tass. Because it is possible to skip this Merlin cutscene uh, at the trap door here. It's just it takes a lot of time. I'm not sure if we can get it faster. But obviously for RTA, we're not going to do it. So he'll just open the door normally. A 143 enter five, that's kinda nuts. I think wow. he's like I think he's probably five minutes ahead of the record now. Which is really cool. Five dash one, Cragley Ho. Cragley Ho. 
And that's our commentary for the whole chapter. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's all you gotta know, Craigley Hall. And the rest is just gameplay. <laughs> uh, something cool you'll notice here is um, once the text is done, uh, you can actually you can technically clip out of the house that we're gonna be in. It's just unfortunately if you don't follow the exact order of sequence that Five One wants you to follow, then uh, you're just gonna have to do it over again. Which is unfortunate because this guy is just blocking the door until you've watched every single cutscene that the game wants you to watch. Imagine if we could FLC to skip this cutscene. <laughs> yeah. I tried it so much, it's just it barely wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. And fun fact, it's actually slightly slower to do a jump here. Uh, so you just don't yeah. lock and open the door. Yeah, the the old man's hitbox is like ridiculously large. So like yeah, if you try to totally jump, he'll be like he'll, like slap you out of the air and be like, no. <laughs> what I used to be doing was I jump like I do like a midway jump and then you'd land like right after you can open the door, but it's still slower. It's just yeah, you just walk right and open it. Yeah, even this cutscene we can't even skip with an FLC. It just barely doesn't seem to reach. <laughs> And you'll notice in this door, the door is, or, yeah, you'll notice with this door, the door is super off center. Mario's like so far <laughs> to the right. Yeah. <laughs> Which is really annoying. And I uh, right here, Ghost is just gonna do this without even uh, pushing your even pipe. Even blinking. Goodness. <laughs> that was. It's funny. I started doing that like just last week. Really? Wow. Yeah. That is a hard jump That's to awesome make. That's awesome. Yeah. Obviously, I press like left and right a little bit. He kind of just does it like crazy fast. Yeah. Is anybody in the Actually, chat right here? Puzzle code. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Another orange <laughs> eagle bar club down. Hey. Uh, middle right, left, left right, middle right, left right, right middle right. Um. Wait, did I forget <laughs> it? Did I forget it? Holy fuck! Middle right, left, left right, middle right, left right, right middle right, right left middle, middle left, left left right, left 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 middle middle. There you go. There you go. I forgot it for a second. I was like, oh. How do you guys know it? You don't even have to know it. We skip it. Well, I had to know for click plus. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I'm gonna like, list of the thing. And when I was a new runner, I kind of needed to know it too. That's fair, yeah. I just get the jumps. Yeah, now we just clip through the wall. So you can do some, uh, you can do this movement in 2D here, uh, but it doesn't seem worth it for RTA. Uh, obviously, it's possible for RTA, so it'll still be done. Uh, it's just most of the time you're gonna get screwed by RNG by the pokies. Which is unfortunate. And then actually right here we're gonna see a different version of- We're actually- no, we're gonna see our first Flip Ledge cancel, I believe. Yeah. Uh, this one just uses a ceiling. Just press one at the ceiling and it'll cancel the Fleep animation. That is so cool. Like, if you guys don't know, that- that Mighty Tonic is literally all the way across the room. Yeah, it's like all the way across the room, and it, it, doing this only saves like a second because we're all we're gonna be like all the way across the room in a minute, anyways. Uh, but it saves yeah. a second, which is nice. And actually, right here, uh, a couple little time saves here. Uh, if you just stay Bowser, you grab this thing and you save two frames because Bowser is way further to the left when you switch back to Mario. Ah, oh. nice little time save. And then right here, actually, Ghost is gonna flip back into 2D and do a jump over these uh, raw this is here. So cool. Wow, yeah. couple jumps over the pokies. Another you, thing that's very RTA possible. Uh, no, I don't think it's worth it because of the pokies. Mm. RNG pokies and oh, also, that's right. That's that's right. That's what you're explaining. Yeah, and also it it, it only saves like half a second or something. Gotcha. That's that's really cool. 
Dude, I remember we used to collect both of those mushrooms up there on the way over to get the tonic. Yeah. But now we can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or we can, it's just like we would it'd be we'd be better off just going and getting the tonic normally. I'm not sure if it's just me, but I think Flash is cutting out. It might just be my end, though. <laughs> do you hear me? Yeah. yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, just making sure I do have Bush to talk on. <laughs> okay, cool. Sounds good. That Chunks fight was really awesome. Um, because he actually got a double hit, basically, by jumping on his head and also hitting the fire. Like, pretty much does 20 damage at one time. That was awesome. It's nuts, yeah. And actually, right here... Uh, we're gonna see uh, early Yoshi tablet. Uh, so with a very specific set of movement, uh, the tablet's just gonna spawn. Um, no idea why it works, uh, but we just have a setup that makes it work. Um, I don't think anyone understands it yet. Yeah, you're supposed to like spin around it, but I think um, I'm dead. Found that, or maybe it was slopped up. Honestly, probably remember. like casual player number. 10,000 was the person who found yeah. that. <laughs> I remember it happened to them in a speedrun and they were like, What the heck? <laughs> no way. No one's gonna do this. What are we doing? <laughs> that's funny. But at least he didn't do like a million ladder jumps at once. Like, obviously, like, yeah, that's possible to do that. I have to do it now. Right, Zach, it's RTA viable now, it's Mark. in the run. I guess I gotta write it in my notes. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> in Japanese. And what's cool is actually Japanese saves like a couple seconds here. Just cause you can just mash the two button for four and then press done. On English, you have to do six, I think it is. I think that's how it works. <laughs> that's cool, doing the crouch jump there. I should probably do that. Is it, is it faster? Maybe, I don't know. It's just nice because you don't have to like hold two when you land on the pipe. You just hold two, like... Right, like you are sorry, hold you don't have to hold down when you land on the pipe. You just oh. hold it before. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, I figured it might save time too. That's sick. It's funny because when you crouch jump, you actually can land on things uh, that are just barely out of reach. There's like one thing in flip side that you can just jump to if you do a crouch jump compared to like a regular jump, it just doesn't work. And then actually there during the Craig text, you might have noticed he was actually mashing slow. Uh, it's not like the task is desyncing or anything. Uh, it's actually just optimal to not mash fast because uh, what's his name? Craig Lee will like pause for like a, like a few seconds longer than the pause he did. That kind of makes sense. I think it loses yeah. like five seconds. That was so funny when I found it. There, yeah. I was like doing segment practice, and I beat one of my golds by five seconds. I was like so confused, <laughs> and I was like looking through everywhere, and I was like, "Oh, okay, that makes sense." <laughs> Tasty sync through a rendered recording of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right here, he's gonna do this in a uh, two D here. Uh, it doesn't really save anything. Uh, he kind of just did it for swag. No one's gonna do that in RTA at all. Come on, Zach. Write it down. <laughs> write it down, man. Come on. Oh, cat jam, cat jam, cat okay. jam. <laughs> oh, yeah, also cat jam. Also, it seems like a handful of frames to do this uh, without the minecart, but no one's ever going to do it in RTA. We just take up the minecart cutscene over anything. <laughs> it's slower. Oh, right, yeah. 
Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I see, I see. Oh yeah, speaking of Apple C, we're gonna do it in the instance here if anyone wants to explain this one. Yeah, so basically, um, at the far end of this room, as you can see, there's there's Phineas. Uh, we're just gonna talk to him with an FLC. There you go. <laughs> Phineas. <laughs> Dude, that FLC looks so cool. Yeah, that's awesome. I love when the game does that. It's like a a, a mix between two D and three D. It's like a diorama. It's really cool. 100%, yeah. And actually, uh, what's really cool about uh, FLC is, or well, how it works anyways, is you you press sleep when you're on a ledge, on like the very edge of it. Well, not quite the very edge, because if you're on the very edge, you just fall off. So it's like kind of like a halfway between like the very edge and not the very edge, if that kind of makes sense. Uh, and yeah. then you press sleep and then it, the game like cancels it. Yeah, pretty much. And then while well, it's canceled. Flipping back to 2D, but also not pulling up the square blocks that Fleep normally pulls up. And then you're also not falling off the platform just because of your uh, precise location. Yeah, so basically what it is, is like, it's like the 3 it's like you're in 3D, but the 2D state appears right at the start. So you can kind of like, it's like you are in 2D. It's like you are like in front of the NPC and talking to him, even though he's all the way across the room. Mm. That kind of makes sense. So cool. I remember JCR don't and I were. Flip. Yeah, don't forget to flip. <laughs> <laughs> I remember uh, JCR and I were working with very similar instances of like what FLC would look like with the the door and um on the flip side tower, and we managed to uh, open up two doors at once, and it was so weird because you would have two different text boxes on the screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really weird stuff, but it's it's kind of cool to see that. There's actually like an application for stuff like that in speedrun. And then here at this corner clip saves uh, a second. We've seen in RTA runs too. It's got a nice little setup for it. It's literally the exact same timing as the ones in 3-4. And it'll be the same timing as a corner clip we're going to use in uh, in 6-1. Actually, we're going to do two corner clips in 6-1. So if you do the ones in 6-1, you might as well do these because it's like... You want to just get consistent at all of them. I it's believe that point. one was also found by Karage. Yep. I didn't see the first- I, I wasn't really paying attention, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, like when he was going through this room the first time before getting the, the fast wire, but I'm presuming he also used a cool strat there with an enemy damage boost. I love this movement. I don't remember who found that. Maybe it was me. Maybe it was someone else. I, I don't remember. You and Castle just started doing it one day. Yeah, I think we kind of just woke up and said it. I think it was Castle actually, because he tended to like kind of like just do stuff like that randomly, and then I just like yeah, hide like, and not. I'm like, not gonna flip anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah, I don't know. I just figured we could do that. I was like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> It just out of the way works. Oh yeah, by the way, I guess this is faster now. <laughs> Have fun doing this. <laughs> Tassel SR. And pretty we had the key the whole time, but at least we saved his friends. And uh, right here in the next room, it actually saves a whole second to switch the key right before the lock here instead of after the lock. Uh, that's just because your pixel just takes like a second to come down for the door animation. Wow. That's smart. I think I found that one. Unless like someone did it beforehand. I don't think so though. And then yeah, doing the peach strike here. I don't know who found this. Maybe it was me as well. 
No, I, I found this when I was routing 100% way back when. Oh, you found this? Nice, yeah. So you guys need a little bit of time to... I, I didn't do this in uh, any percent runs. I did this in 100% runs when we had Dashel. Yeah, I think maybe I like... Maybe, maybe I was the one to do it with Carry or something like yeah. that. Something like that. I, I don't know, all these strats are like just a blur to me. They're so... They're the ones that are like a few years old. I don't really remember. <laughs> John's back just in time for his baby. Oh yeah, right on. This next level is gonna be insane. Uh, as you can see, uh, the the community sub split is like 4:23. I think the task is gonna do it in like maybe less than four minutes or something crazy like that. It's gonna not be to so wake fast. Up. Yeah, not to wake up any of the lurkers, but if you guys have this on a side screen, you might you might want to watch this next level. Yeah, this trick is awesome. Yeah, this whole level is really everybody awesome. wake this whole up. Level is amazing. There's <laughs> it just yeah. The progression of it too is like nuts. Like it used to be like ten and a half minutes long, and then we got it down to sub ten. Then we barely cracked it out to sub nine, and then we found Dotty Skip, and then we got it to like barely like I think it was maybe like sub five thirty or something like that, or something like that. And then now like it's at the low fours. Is just crazy. Uh, so in this room, we're gonna see a lot of things. We're gonna see an FLC, and we're gonna also see a gold bar clip. So we're just gonna start by gold bar clipping through the wall. And if we do an FLC at like the furthest right we can, or like pretty far right on the screen, uh, we can do an FLC and just open the door. Uh, but what is? Oh, I guess he, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say he's doing something different, but no. Cool. And that took five years to find. <laughs> Or actually, probably a lot longer. It's been looked at for a long time. This is like our holy grail. And Super. right when gold bar clipping was found, uh, John was the first one to try it out here, and it just worked that easily because he knew all everything that we needed to know about the scanner for it to just work, mm -hmm. which was nice. And uh, right here, we're gonna actually see a little uh, gold bar club. Uh, during the painting room, this is gonna save like a few seconds. Because our respawn point is just gonna stay where the gold bar is, and then we're gonna hit the block and then void out. So cool. That's actually really cool, like how he jumped like that late. Probably worth doing an RTA. I'm gonna try and type as quietly as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Compliments to the run every time you hear Zach typing on his keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna try that. <laughs> and then yeah, he spawned like right next to the door so we can just open it instantly, which is nice. I believe that one, yeah, that one was found by a Gurney. Uh, but I think I implemented it first because no one really wanted to do it because I think it didn't even save time at first until we found we can just use the gold bar like from where we are instead of doing an extra two flips. Mm -hmm. Actually right here, uh, we start the fight as Morio uh, and get up on this thing to save like an extra couple seconds. That was kind of a cool do, like, those two. <laughs> yeah, we do like those two flips to like line it up and then we kill it as Morio just to save a bit of time in the cutscene. Really cool fight. Yeah. 5-4 has come so far. It is so amazing to see the, the progression that everybody's put onto this this uh, this segment. It used to be, uh, I think, one of the longest segments in the run, and now it's oh, like one of the shortest. Easily. I'll throw all my gold bars away. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> throw your gold bars for that awesome segment, guys. We'll see more gold bars in the chat. <laughs> I don't have enough. <laughs> oh no! No! Oh, wow, that's crazy. This is almost sub 4, man. That's awesome. It's gonna be like 410. I love that hammer thing. It's so cool, man. The hammer like animation at the bottom. 
<laughs> funny little Easter egg there. <laughs> I just find it hilarious that he saved 11 seconds over my RTA gold, like, literally out of thin air, because, like, everything was the same other than that one thing I wrote down. Mm -hmm. But that one thing probably only saved, like, half a second. It's just nuts how far this level has come. I just wish that there was a way to make it sub 4, but it just seems like it's pretty much impossible. Like, that's how crazy this this run is getting. Like, there's some levels where it's like, you can what almost definitively say it. Yeah, like, what else can you do? Like, we, we do scanner skip, like, we move right, we do scanner skip, and mm -hmm. then we do the painting room that optimally. Like, I don't know where we can save time. I, I don't know if we can do that level any faster. <laughs> And as much as there's lots we can do with this game, like, the game is getting really optimized now, which is awesome. Which is always the goal. <laughs> yeah. That's so crazy. As optimized as a four-hour run could be. <laughs> yeah. Like, the fact that we're 10 seconds off of the the Human 3D pass for that segment is pretty, pretty cool. And I know we definitely can get a few seconds lower than that, too. Yeah. That's that's just so fun to see. See how far we've come as a community. Hundred percent. Wow, that jump was sick. That was awesome. That's Merlin cutscene skip. There you go. And that saved like thirty seconds. Yeah, that's something a big like that. Time save. Yeah, it used to save, used uh, to save. twelve or sixteen. <laughs> yeah. He used to save nowhere near as much, and also required, what, like, five frame perfect inputs? Yep, pretty much, yeah. I, have we done any Thudley jumps since 3-3? Uh, we actually don't do any Thudley jumps from 3-3 up until 7-3. Wow! That's crazy. Man, I wish I ran this game back then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, uh, if only. Yeah, no kidding. 3-4, oh, that's true, that's true. Oh yeah, the 1 and 3-4, yeah. My bad. Nice, took damage as he was falling right there. Well, the 1 and 3-4, like, you absolutely don't have to be with only save yeah. second. Yeah, optional. <laughs> the well, the one going up the when playing optimally. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess there's two of them, yeah. I forgot mm -hmm. about that one. But yeah, like, playing, it's crazy when playing optimally, you don't even do a thudly jump for like two hours. That's crazy. No, we don't do the painting room one anymore, because we actually, uh, we do boomer strats there. Boomer saves like a third of a second. Uh, so after scanner skip was found, uh, we started doing the boomer thing. Which is nice. Because in the old dotty skips routes... And the old Dottie skip routes, we used Dudley just because Dudley was like faster because of pixel switches. Seven seconds, where? <laughs> oh, where, man? That's crazy. <laughs> Probably that frame perfect, uh, the RNG throw from Ruin Cuts and Yeah, the, the RNG throw. It's gotta be a few seconds. Sub 10 6 1. Yes. Wait, I'll actually Make run a prediction. prediction. Yeah, I'll literally run one. Is it sub? I only have 30 gold bars though. You should have told me before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. I have no gold bars left, man. Sub I'm sad. I'll run it for like, uh, like two minutes. There we go. At least I'm almost 100% sure I'm gonna double my gold bars. <laughs> Go from 30 gold bars to 60. <laughs> uh, something to note here is it's actually the cutscene is much faster if your Bowser here. Uh, so go stops to start the fight as Bowser. For like a run though, we are probably going to stick with starting with Mario. Just because it makes the fight so much more consistent to get like the carry hop on thing at the end. Mm hmm. And then right here, uh, this guy shows us that he has the pure heart. I don't know why Bowser doesn't just like fire him, take the pure heart and leave or anything, but... Apparently we have to kill all these 20 samurai guys. 
Or he's telling us 100 now, but obviously 100 is a lot. Holy cow, somebody did vote. 14,000 points, what the? 14k. If Dude, that one person that dropped 20 and no, like this somehow is... Yeah, that's what I was saying. They're about to get rich, that's so funny. Kind of tempted to vote no bro, just in case. Bro, I swear Ghost probably- Ghost was probably the one who bet all the- all the gold bars. <laughs> Dude, it's a rigged- He found a get-rich-quick scheme. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so for most of these fights, you'll notice Ghost is gonna do, like, uh, small jumps, and uh, we're gonna use or fire if we can get on carry. Uh, so if we get on carry, like at the end of the fight, we'll save like half a second. <laughs> Dude, that's funny. It was actually John that voted no. <laughs> that's John. That's funny. I mean, it is a pretty good way to make money. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, you can beat the guy there with a really well-timed jump. Wow. I'm gonna rate that dog. That's crazy, all these carry hop-ons. That's nuts. See, so yeah, I like the hopping on carry saves like half a second. Uh, oh wow. For any fight you can do it. Uh, but what it requires, it requires firing and then getting on carry and it makes it so much easier if you fire the enemy twice like if like for here it's like almost frame perfect to get on carry goodness uh, unfortunately yeah, i guess he didn't do that one but getting the other 14 was nice <laughs> <laughs> another 14 that's funny That's so nuts, man. We should honestly do the... Okay, strats on more fights. So yeah, I guess, yeah, I'm wrong. So I was saying at the start that you want a small jump on almost every enemy, but it turns out we're just gonna fire almost all of them. That's really cool. Coming up pretty soon is a trick that uh, JCR actually found. Oh yeah, that'll be exciting. Also, Ghost, just so you know, if I lose my 30 gold bars, I'm going to be very upset with you. And if it's by half a second, I'm going to be really upset with you. I'm going to lose my 14k gold bars. <laughs> I mean, Teddy's the one that's... I should be worried here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I valued my 30 gold, gold bars. <laughs> That's all I had left. <laughs> I bet my literal life savings. <laughs> uh, this fight's really cool, actually, uh, with this guy. In RTA, usually we like run into him and then fire, but Ghost obviously knows what pattern is gonna happen. <laughs> So, uh, once we get to fight, uh, 
17. Uh, we're actually just gonna skip fight 17. Uh, so yeah, who needs it? For whatever reason, uh, none of these fights are actually skippable, except for 17 and 20. Just because fights 17 and 20 actually have cutscenes attached to them. Uh, so if there's like a cutscene after, uh, you can just skip the fights for some reason. The doors just aren't locked. They're Imagine locked. if we or, could. I don't know how it works, though. honestly. I, I guess they just didn't lock the doors in those. <laughs> yeah, that'd be so cool. Just like corner club through every stage. Yeah. <laughs> Fight skipping simulator. <laughs> yeah. I'm very curious to see the the final time on this one. This one's going to be much better than the community some of the best just because of the amount of RNG. Oh yeah, absolutely. And then the community some best one itself, I think I think I was able to get something close to 1010. Or no, actually maybe I did finally get a good gold on there. I don't I don't even remember to be honest. I have no idea what I was getting in this practice, but yeah, you're gonna see here. I was gonna do a corner clip through this stage, and then this like little slowdown thing. I, you can't even notice it because he's so fast. Uh, but there's like a slowdown thing that happens. Uh, right when that happens, he gets on carry, and that's like the cutscene animation that's like canceling. Yeah, that's really cool. That trick was initially found um, using a gold bar clip, but it's much faster with the corner clip, and there's a pretty consistent setup. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool because we thought we had to like double tap the two button for those corner clips, but they actually just happen to work out where we can just tap the two button and then let go really fast. And uh, Ghost is going to use Kudge on this fight just because it's much more consistent. Uh, you could use like Bowser, um, which might might save a little bit of time, but it's just really RNG heavy. Mario Kudge and forever. Then... Oh yeah. Except for only one fight, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Bowser is Gloria. Yeah, that makes sense to be honest. That fight looked really fast the way you did it with Mario Kudge. Yeah, so it looks like uh, we're getting a sub 10 then. So I guess you can award the points then. <laughs> it's not over till it's over. You know, oh, yeah. He he could just stand under the star block for like three seconds. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> <laughs> well, then again, he is switching to Bowser. It'll be very close. I think this is like 9.59. Teddy's over here sweating. <laughs> no, it should be good. I will see. I am suing the SPM community. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. Alright, here we go. GG's. Does he actually get it? Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow. One second off. GG's. Wait, are you fucking serious? I only made one gold bar off of that prediction? Yeah, because Teddy, Teddy freaking <laughs> went all in and went 14k in. Bro, he stole everything. That. <laughs> he invested his whole life savings into those 20 gold bars. <laughs> Bro, Gracie, are you gonna give me like at least a complimentary like thousand gold bars? For that? <laughs> <laughs> if I figure out a way to, to juice the whole thing, yeah, I will. It'll be funny. <laughs> and then right here, actually, uh, Igrimi found this faster fight here. If you fire twice and then end with a jump, uh, he found it saves like an extra like I don't know, like a tenth of a second or a few tenths of a second. So wow. we always do it because it's pretty easy. And now we'll just be moving. While we're moving, I'm gonna go get water. I'll be right back. Sounds good. Alrighty, so we're at, <laughs> we're approaching the uh, the most impending doom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much the, the complete impending doom. Most interesting segment of the game. Uh, six dash question mark. So we're just gonna. Um, there's a platform coming up here. 
uh, in this next room, I believe, with a, uh, a red Sammer guy, and that's going to start the cutscene, take us back to flip side. Um, what's cool is that we can actually corner clip through this um, stage as well, and we can actually traverse through like 20 more rooms, uh, and then normally get to the end of normal 6-2, but the star block's not loaded in, so it doesn't do anything. That'd be kind of cool. Imagine the star blocks right there, and it just sequence breaks to post at that the very end of the game. Insane. That would be insane. F in the chat for Bowser. I can't wait to see how optimized this next room is. Yeah, this next room is gonna be crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, here it is. <laughs> Let's see it. Oh my gosh! It's looking pretty good. <laughs> How does he do it? How is this happening? Wait. Wait, here here comes the one obstacle. It's coming up. Oh no, is he is he gonna jump over it? Does he make the jump? Oh let's oh! go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. He did it. <laughs> the jump he is been made. Also, make sure to stay hydrated, guys. This is a very long run. Very true. <laughs> Zach, look at how optimal this room is. Wow, that's crazy, man. I gotta take a lot of notes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that should be good enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but no, that was crazy, actually. <laughs> the way he jumped over that obstacle. I know, right, man? And, like, the way, like, he's just moving, bro, it's so optimal. Like, he's holding right. And, wow, like, Carrie's, like, moving up and down so <laughs> optimally. Like, this is awesome, man. Yeah. Okay, but that was actually cool. Uh, <laughs> that saves, like, a nice little bit of time if you switch pixels uh, when you enter the cutscene like that. <laughs> that is so cool. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> uh, so something that's cool is actually if you hold the one button, it just buffers your next uh, thudly attack and it just lets him do this very quickly without landing on the ground again. Unfortunately for RTA, that's just way too hard uh, with current knowledge anyways. Yeah, it'd probably take tons of practice, too. Uh, did he level up there, or no? I didn't notice. Oh, um... I think he did. You think he did? He yeah, because I, I remember he oh, showed me that it. fight earlier. Yeah, I remember okay, seeing cool. the level. Dang, one That's second cool. over community sum of best. That's pretty optimal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, what's cool actually uh, is leveling up here actually saves time uh, for RTE speedruns. Uh, just because you. Well, it's kind of weird. So it's like you can just like 
jump through the fountain without hitting the level up. It's just it makes it so much easier if you level up there. I so it's generally the place where everybody likes to level up. So I guess now we can take a bath in the cream soda without leveling up or losing time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Time to go to Merlin's house for a completely normal visit. So I was actually just found like recently that we could uh, do a gold bar clip here to see like an extra like second and a half because a lot of people thought it was slower before. And now that we're better yeah. at the game, I kind of went back and looked at it, and uh, we do a gold bar clip now back to Merlin's house there. Very cool. This is something we found before the task was made. Yeah, it's, it's found when he was in chapter eight, so obviously he couldn't do anything about it. But actually, he could have. He should have just restarted the task. What the fuck goes? <laughs> <laughs> No longer a human theory. No, this is just a speedrun. <laughs> and now I'm allowed to record you. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm for the most embarrassing part. What, are you just gonna walk through the fountain without jumping over it or something? So let's see, I'll commentate how unoptimal this is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, did you lose frames or something the way you jump through the fountain there, or no? Um, but no, so in the next room, he's actually gonna go the right side. Uh, this is just because he was ta timing, um... He was, like, timing doing the right side. It loses, like, half a second or something. Uh, but unfortunately, yeah, like, he, for some reason, put the... the optimal way of doing it on the right side, like, in his task, so... Yeah, he loaded the wrong state, so uh, it's not it's not crazy. He just lost like half a second or something doing that. Uh, but I'm pretty sure he saves about half a second with how optimal he's played so far on the segment, anyways. Dang, that must be really annoying. You go back and look at your yeah. recording, and you're like, "Wait, what? <laughs> how did I really that sneak did that. in there?" <laughs> yeah. 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 That sucks, man. Hey, <laughs> yeah. An optimal reset. <laughs> <laughs> Every runner's favorite phrase to hear. Well, it's not a theory task, so this would just be submitted to the actual rewards. <laughs> 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 uh, something cool in the next room, uh, Ghost found like a something like a half second time save. Uh, if you jump in the water uh, like this and then do three swims, uh, you'll just land like right in the thing, like hole in one basically. Uh, wow. That way you that way you keep your really really fast downwards velocity. Uh, and then we can That's flip earlier true. in the room too, which is nice. So it's kind of like a two for one little thing. And, that and right here we'll just do the corner club. Yeah. I found this by accident. Very true. <laughs> yeah. A clip of it. <laughs> I should make a Yeah, Flash found it by accident. Just that clip. Oh, yeah. That was funny too, because somebody's like, hey, when's water switched yet? And then I, I did it <laughs> on accident. 
I just find it crazy that you saved like 25 seconds or something like during your run without even knowing like <laughs> the thing you're like wait yeah. and then you just go you just just go skip it, you enter the door. Bro, if I was doing that run, I probably would have just went for the water switch still. I would have been confused. Yeah. <laughs> You're just like, wait. And then just go in the door. <laughs> uh, doing that saves right like... <laughs> doing that saves like 30, 37 seconds or something like that. Um, yep. If you do it on the first ledge and the bricks. Uh, so... Doing it on the first ledge saves an extra like five five seconds or something over like the old way we used to do. And then something cool to note here, um, he's what he's gonna do is he's gonna flip like really fast, and then what this is gonna do is it's actually just gonna drain the third three bar right when he starts swimming there. And that saves like an extra second or so if you get the flips really fast there. It's really unfortunate how precise it is for RTA. It's like sometimes you'll save and lose a decent bit of time in this room. Just from not getting that faster flip. I don't know if it's like frame perfect or if it's like a few frame window. But it's something I notice. That would be interesting to know. And then while climbing up these like uh, water rooms, you just want to mash to as fast as you can. It saves a lot of time if you like try and mash it compared to if you're just doing a slow mash. So you always want to make sure you're swimming as fast as you can. <laughs> I also do like to climb in water. <laughs> Is that the word? I just like climb. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Climb the water, guys. You heard it here first. Shoutouts to uh, Love Bees text being the default correct answer. So you can just oh, mash yeah, straight through that, it. So. That's crazy that our return splits are getting close to like sub 230. Oh wow, yeah. Let's see, let's do another update how far he is ahead of record. Because why not? So yeah, we'll have to see when he gets to the return split. But it seems like, yeah, he's about seven minutes ahead of the record right now. That's kind of nuts. Goodness. So it seems like he's going to get about a three. He's going to at least get sub 340, which is really cool. I'm curious, is, did, did we write down everybody's uh, times? Uh, I think I have him. Hey, it's Gamer Squiddy. Gamer Squiddy. The gamer. Yeah, so he's like, what is it like? Seven minutes and thirty seconds ahead of the record. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, the editing is so good for the video. Ch 
shout outs to Wellerberg once again. Oh yeah, 100%. Oh, yeah, nothing's too crazy during this pre chapter. It's honestly like the most like straightforward one. The movement is really, really nice. Like this diagonal movement, saving a lot of time. This is one of those segments that, like, the better you get at the game, the more time you save in it. It's funny because when I started running, I was getting about 510. When I got my first record, I was getting about 508. And then now I got like 450, 458s. So. It just like goes down without e even doing any different strats or anything. <laughs> and unfortunately you have to get off carry there to make that jump because Luigi actually jumps so much higher uh, when you're not on carry. Which is quite unfortunate. Yeah. Pretty sure he's still just as slippery though when he's on carry. Yeah, he's very slippery still. Yeah. Maybe not as slippery though, thankfully. Yeah, every character jumps the same height while on carry. It's one of the shortest free chapters, it's like two minutes long. Well actually then again it's kinda like you could say it's like twenty minutes long if you count like or like twelve minutes long if you count like return. <laughs> and right here we're gonna jump over the fountain. And this time it'll be very Easy because we got carry with us. Good deal. This next room is actually quite interesting. Uh, so there's gonna be these bubbles that jump up. Uh, I was actually found out that it was faster to go through this room as the week like a couple years ago. Uh, so we're just gonna jump over all the pipes and actually no bubbles even come out to say hi at all. That's kind of nuts. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I saw wow. a single bubble there. That was kind no, of crazy. No, none. <laughs> How cool the actually, heck did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> What's cool is actually uh, recently I kind of... I don't know if it, it was known by anyone else, but I found out like a few, a few months ago that you can just like hold right the whole time and like not slow down at all, even if no matter what the bubbles do. I found like adjustments for like each of them for RTA, which was nice. Oh wow. So you can do it without slowing down. Because what's cool is if like a bubble jumps over you, you can do a small jump and then you can hold two so that you fall slower. And like that way you can go under it but still like make the gap. That kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see this, uh, this Bowser fight coming up. Oh yeah, that would be really cool. 7 2 is just going to be great. The past like... 10 minutes of it is just kind of just like walking the of the task has just been like walking around we haven't really done too much mm -hmm. i like how the dark rooms look uh in rta now versus what they used to be oh yeah they're really optimal now dang 7-1 is only two seconds faster i guess it makes sense it's just from one into the other and a little bit of text massing, mashing. Yeah, 100%. He <laughs> does it. Oh, wow. That, that hurts. <laughs> Is there something we should know about Zach? <laughs> oh, oh, well. I, uh, I died there yesterday. Oh, no! <laughs> Brutal. Yeah, I, I went to go see if you were still streaming and you weren't, so I, I assumed that the run didn't make it, but I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I still finished the run, but I just loaded a file. <laughs> oh, oh, gotcha. <laughs> Very cool. But yeah, that room is really optimal now. Uh, me, I found some faster strats, I grew me found some faster strats, Ghost found some faster strats in the turn too, so... 
very fast now. And it turns out if you do like a door turn around there, you save like a half a second almost. You know what would be really cool if um I just lost my train of thought. That would be really cool. That, that would be cool. <laughs> and uh, something unfortunate actually Oh go ahead. Uh what what do they call that effect when you can't see the screen? Like the darkness? My Yeah, the darkness, yeah. I'm just call it that. Yeah, that'd be really cool if that was added to a, to the um, Seeky's, uh, what's it called? Oh, the practice, practice codes. codes. Yeah, like yeah, if you could turn see. on and off the uh, the dark room effect. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Tunnel oh, yeah. vision, thank you. Yeah. Sorry, I just like, <laughs> I was at a loss of words there. <laughs> and here's a super optimal Bowser fight. Uh, so you can, I really found that you can just keep tapping left and then just keep hammering. And what's cool is we actually kill him so much faster than without using the Shell Shock. Uh, we used to literally buy a Shell Shock for this fight. Um, that is so obviously cool. obviously you don't need to do that anymore. Uh, so yeah, we started skipping the shop now so we don't have to like go buy the Ice Storm or the Shell Shock because both of them actually lost time, so kind of made no sense going like 35 seconds all the way to buy items that aren't even faster. Mm hmm And here's the staircase room. Uh, thankfully, uh, Ghost actually didn't task this room. He just did it with human input, so uh, that way it'd be accurate. Because if you just do, f if you task this room, it's just it can't be accurate. Because he'd just be doing like free perfect jumps off all these platforms. Obviously, on RTA we can get it very fast, and it looks like he did it very well. So shout out to Ghost movement here. <laughs> oh, that's super sick. And I always kept track after that dry bones that you just saw. It's like nine jumps or seven. seven. Yeah. yeah. Or you can just count fifty. I think it's fifty, anyways. I counted one of these days. I don't. Or I think it was just exactly fifty. I couldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it was some like round number. I don't know if it was fifty or it was something like that. And unfortunately, if you fail these door guy things, you just lose like a minute because you have to like play through the whole thing for him to tell you you did it wrong. <laughs> really sucks. Is this anger.io? Yes. It is. How did you know? You can actually <laughs> click this link here and then show up on screen. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that'd be funny if a runner just like simultaneously like played <laughs> anger.io during that cutscene. <laughs> Put it on the, the little screen. <laughs> uh, so now we're gonna talk to this lady. Uh, but she feels like working me back to the start of the level. So Gotta love backtracking fetch quests. I wonder if you could just like go backwards from like the door guy. Or if you just have to get that wood back to get the cookbook from this guy. I'm or pretty if you sure can even just if go you backwards could. after Bowser. Yeah. That'd be sick if we could do that. I don't think you can though, it's probably tied to the sequence, but... Yeah. I would feel really stupid if you could. I think all of us would feel pretty stupid. Oh, dude, I have... <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That'd be cool if we could. John P55 is now playing Dolphin. No.
Uh, so here in the next room, uh, <laughs> uh, I guess, yeah, no, no one's really talked about this jump much, uh, but I always knew about it. You can do like a jump across this gap. I think it's a one or two frame window, and it saves like a second or something over the jumping up. It's just unfortunate that it wasn't like documented well, it was kind of my fault. Otherwise, you guys would have seen a super cool jump there. <laughs> And then, if you guys remember, all the way back in four or in four three, we grabbed a shooting star. It's just gonna save a few seconds in this fight. Uh, that way, we don't have to like do a big like, ground pound on each enemy. It saves honestly barely anything, but it still saves time at least, which is nice. It'd be cool if the shooting star was more effective on a another boss somewhere else. Yeah, hundred percent. Fun finding little routing changes like that every now and then. Oh yeah. Wow, that is a really fast seven's use. Save twenty two seconds. Oh my gosh. Take a guess at the time of seven three. Yeah, you guys got it. I I think I already know. <laughs> yeah, put your guesses in chat. What you think? Uh... New prediction? Oh. <laughs> prediction. Give, give, give us a like... ballpark. <laughs> if, if there's, Ghost, if you should have put like. Oh. Ghost, you should have put like a Gerby's like de the default like Twitch image or something <laughs> on the splits. That would have been funny. In the record video, we just put the, the Discord logo. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, just like the red standard Discord logo. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that or like the default Twitch logo. <laughs> Uh, fun fact, it saves a second to just do a full jump after you exit that door, so the beatboxer just attacks you, and then you can just grab the fast floor super fast. Uh, so that was the thing Ghost found during this test. And he actually found another time save in this room uh, that will go over right away. Uh, so when he jumps off this cloud, he's just going to do three manual jumps and then a Luigi jump. That actually saves a whole second over what we used to do. With like doing an extra Luigi jump. And then here in this next room, there's another jump that saves a second. Um, this one's really hard. You have to like Luigi jump from like the very edge of the platform. Actually, I have no idea if he does this either. No, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, you can do a Luigi jump onto the cloud there. I guess that was another thing that like a couple people knew about, but no one ever did it because it's just way too hard. It makes sense. It probably doesn't save that yeah. much time either. Yeah, I think that one saves like a second as well. Mm. Yeah. And then you want to do uh, two subtle jumps across this room. Uh, there's like another way to do this, it just barely didn't save enough time, unfortunately. And I guess it wouldn't be for the RTA task either. And also something to note, uh, there is like, like ways to just cancel the cloud's like upwards speed. That would probably save a handful of seconds in this task, but it's never been recreated like consistently yet. And then right here we're actually going to be doing uh, what we call the insanely fast early platform cycle. Uh, so you do a bunch of double jumps up here, do careful Lu Luigi jumps, uh, time this Luigi jump late, and then we get up here and it saves about nine and a half seconds. That's good. Wow, and then the downloaded door as well. <laughs> that was crazy. Did you do that, Zay? The double jumps cycle? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I found oh doing it like that anyways. <laughs> I'm <laughs> trying to- I, I don't know if it's worth it for <laughs> runs yet, but I'd love to do it for sure. That is crazy. I was doing early Peach Gives. Oh yeah. Man, Peach Gives starts already damn bad. It's not. So we're gonna do like 50, 50 thousand jumps to skip using Peach. And actually Peach really has nothing to do with it, it's just about getting the cloud to let you jump up. And that cloud only spawns after you get Peach, but Peach isn't even useful at all. Like we don't use Peach's abilities at all at the level, whether we do Peach skip or not. 
Uh, so each one of these are frame perfect. Uh, the best for RTA done was, I think, missing like three or four of them. Maybe Groomy's only missed like one. Like, it's kind of nuts. I've, my best is like five missed or something like that. I've never gotten anything way too crazy. <laughs> I've got a, I think I've missed four on one. It was like a long time ago. Though. That's so nuts. But of course, my level was terrible. <laughs> the segment wasn't even good. <laughs> it was yeah. just in like a, like a no reset race I was doing. Yeah. I think Gurmies might have been during his marathon run, I think. I might be wrong. I think it was during like a marathon run or a race or something like that. Oh, the RTA Japan? Yeah, I think it might have been during that. I might be wrong wow. though. Dang, that's a lot of wrong. pressure. Unfortunately, like thousands of people that watch that. Not to call ghosts out on something, but if you, while you're doing the double jumps there, if you stay far enough left, uh, you, you, he won't have to do the diagonal movement while at the top of, uh, mm. while at the top of, what's it called? <laughs> at the top of the room. SMH. <laughs> SMH. <laughs> SMH, my head ghost. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, what's cool is actually, moving with Luigi here, um, it seems faster for Tas. So I couldn't get it faster for RTA though. Uh, so, yeah. Five oh five Peach script. That's nuts, man. Dang. And it's slightly faster to kill these enemies, but Bowser was something I found like two or three years ago. I remember, I remember seeing that. people killing them with Luigi. <laughs> Luigi carry. And I was like, hey, even if we <laughs> do it perfectly, which no one ever does, <laughs> this is actually faster. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I remember that. <laughs> I felt so stupid. You're like, oh, by the way, you should <laughs> probably swap to Bowser. It's like, what? <laughs> Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and here, elevators have been two thousand jumps. Beautiful. Wow. Wow, he like jumps so high over the cloud. It's funny. So, something I found like the other day in the CERN is if you jump over this ice thing, you save like half a second. Or not half a second, you save a tenth of a second. Because you can see like they push you back. Unfortunately, that was found after Godzilla was playing with us. Nice little rainbow bridge skip. Yeah, seeing him fall down that far just makes my heart drop every time. I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> PTSD. Yeah. This level has lots of cutscenes and like hardly any gameplay. <laughs> it's like a six minute split, but you're only moving Mario for like a minute, if that. So the angels versus the demons, who's gonna win? Who's the bald guy? <laughs> 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 He's got That's hair. Cool guy, I have no idea. Gramby, like I think a little zigzag. Right? <laughs> Bro, this screen is just hilarious to me. I just love the screen where they're like all fighting or whatever. It's it's even funnier if you like suddenly jump up into them. Like the picture is so <laughs> great. All right, guys, here comes the hardest boss fight in the entire game. Oh no, he's so tall, how are we gonna kill him? It would be a shame if they put a low ceiling in this room. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I don't know. I think, I think we might just have to quit the run. I don't I don't know if we can <laughs> kill him then. Oh yeah, they, do, don't we have like that guy who's like green? Use him. Yeah. Maybe he'll work. <laughs> Luigi. 
Green guy, I choose you. Oh. Wait, Bowser, really? Oh. I, Holy, wait. that was crazy, man. Oh, <laughs> man. I blinked. I, I missed it. Take notes. <laughs> <laughs> I got an emote for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically if you just jump and then hold one, he just dies. There's nothing more to it. Like any casuals can literally just try that. Just Bowser, they'll like just jump and then hold one and then he just dies. It's, it's great. And then here we have two minutes of tech smashing, which is very fun. I wonder how much we're gonna save time for text smashing. Wait, Ghost, you've gotten a 559 here? That's like insane. I guess you probably start the level as Luigi. That's probably why. Let's see, like two seconds. This is oftentimes where an RTA runner's arm is just gonna feel super numb. In this specific cutscene, <laughs> I feel like everyone just notices it right here. They're like, what am I doing with my life? Just mashing the <laughs> controller. <laughs> Why is my thumb slowly falling off? <laughs> yeah. That's usually how it goes. So Ghost is now like over six minutes ahead of the community, some of us. That's insane. Seems like late game, he saves so much time. Like, enter four, he's only like, two minutes out of the like, community saw, but now he's six. It's crazy. Dang, I just saw that he was 52 seconds ahead of 7 3, the community, some of best. Yeah. Wow. It's nuts. Maybe I need to take notes for 7-3. <laughs> yeah, just don't mess up any thudly jumps and you're good. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the last, like, little Count Black cutscene that we're gonna see in the run. There's, like, one, like, before and after most chapters. Well, it's before only chapter one, but it's after, like, every single chapter. <laughs> What's your guys' favorite count block meeting? <laughs> uh, the one where we kick his butt. <laughs> Me too. That's my favorite. <laughs> Mine's post chapter three. It has like all the all the people there. <laughs> Oh yeah, this segment's actually really awesome in the human theory tasks. Uh, first of uh, all, uh, something for RTA, uh, for our runs on actual console, unless, I don't know if he's going to put in the leg spike. If he does, uh, it's good to know. Uh, you want to switch to Mario here, in this place, instead of the previous room, because you actually won't get a leg spike when you switch characters, because yeah, he didn't put a leg spike for switching to Bowser there. It's like on an actual console. Yeah, I didn't get a leg spike in my run specifically because I switched characters on that screen. Um, but then, yeah, he's gonna do an FLC here, which Sick. saves like a second. <laughs> Dude, he just like... Zoom! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you only don't get the leg spike if you specifically switch in this room. But if you switch in the last room, you lose like a second. <laughs> just kind of funny. Dude, why it's are FLCs so cool? They are, man. They're so dope. <laughs> it sucks because I couldn't get this faster for RTA unless I was like literally completely YOLOing it. So we probably won't see that in RTA runs for a while at least. And uh, what's cool is having Fleep out this early is going to save a little bit of time and movement here as well. 
So we'll do these like auto reflips instead of like actually flipping. This saves about a second for this movement. Super cool. Yeah. And then uh, we're gonna do a trick that I found like a few years ago in the learn cutscene skip. It saves like 25 seconds now. Uh, we used to do it with like a gold bar clip. We could have even done it with thudly jumps too, uh, but we're just gonna do it with a quick FLC. Boom. <laughs> don't mind me, just walking right past you guys. Sorry, I don't have time for this cutscene. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I felt so stupid when I found this. Because I was like, we could have just done this <laughs> the whole time. I'm glad we didn't find it when it was more thudly jumps. This game had yeah, way too many honestly, as yeah. it was. That would have been so scary at near the end of the run, just four more thudly jumps. Honestly, we might not have even done it. No, we would have definitely times. done it. Everybody, we were, we were thudly jump hungry. If it saved time, yeah. even if it was like a second, we did the thudly jumps. That's true, yeah. Very cool animation walking up to the castle. Looks even cooler in uh, walking up to it in 3D. Oh yeah, especially on Dolphin too. Looks so good. <laughs> yeah. And then right here in the next room actually... You go ahead, Zach. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> uh, so with the stairs here in the next room, uh, what's cool is you can get up them in two jumps if you do it well enough. Oh, that movement is so sick. I know it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, sub 3 enter 8, but it is nuts. Wow. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Sub 3 enter 8 is ridiculous. That's so cool. Hardest part about Peach Skip. <laughs> Not having Peach. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I just find that one so hard. Every time I go there, I gotta, like, minimize my chat, go into focus mode. <laughs> yeah. But wait, it gets harder. This whole run has led up to this, this one Dudley jump. <laughs> just get peek. <laughs> Old man. Hmm? Is he gonna get it? He Let's go! go. Oh, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> uh, it was asked about the quick menu in chat, so I'll just go over that really quick. Uh, so when switching the characters, it saves... I think it's exactly like a framework to you to switch to characters with the 1 and 2 menu compared to using plus. Uh, but when you're switching pixels, uh, it's better to use the plus menu first, or if you're using items or like the return pipe. Uh, just because you actually, there's like a little lag that the game does where you can't move to the right. Like you can't swap like uh, sections in the menu without waiting like a second or so. So when switching pixels, we always use the plus button instead. The quick menu is not very quick for pixels. Yeah, only for characters. And then right here, uh, Ghost is actually gonna fire the third one first. Uh, that way he doesn't have to like accelerate twice. Smart. So you can just turn around and hit that one. Yeah, the stairs are crazy. I'm excited to see these stairs actually. These would be really cool. Definitely not off center door. Oh, too late. <laughs> already said it. <laughs> it's a tradition at this point. <laughs> the door is off center. What the? It's off center. Man? I think we could all quit this game now. I'm down. My OCD won't let me play this game anymore. Me neither. <laughs> I think I'm gonna save up all my gold bars and throw them at the end of the run. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, I actually found that the door was off center oh, yeah. on my second ever run. I was like, what the? This place is not so bad. Dude, that was such a fast fight. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, oh my god. That I was forgot to even mention that actually, while he was opening the door to this room, he actually switched to Bubbly to say like an extra few frames. Uh, I think that might wow. be the only reason this fight saved time. Do not think so much that, or maybe it still saved a couple frames over here, Carrie. Uh, but like the way he did it with Carrie was also like super awesome for the comparison. He did like some Bowser bumps and stuff. <laughs> Probably was two seconds faster. Really? I thought you were getting Carrie like only a few frames slower. I thought you said that's crazy. Two seconds, man. That's nuts. RTA three seconds. Are you serious, man? Zach, take notes. I won't. <laughs> Random keyboard slapping. <laughs> I've never seen how you did it for how you do it for RTA, but I'd like to. That'd be cool. Scooter Mario is a requirement. I'm just gonna go grab more water, I'll be right back. Sounds good. Hmm. I like how we just traded Bowser for Peach. <laughs> Peach, where did you come from? Uh, I don't think we know exactly why the Scooter Mario glitch happens, but... We know it happens! <laughs> I think it's when you start mashing too fast, like, to get through the cutscene. Alright, so this is, uh, this is Merlin's Switch Skip. We... This has been in the run for a while, but we're actually gonna do it only with one Thudley, which is, uh, an RTA thing for a couple runners. But yeah, you can just barely make that in one, and normally you have to do two on the ground, but it's really cool. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, those are probably one of, like, the most annoying sets of Dudley jumps. Yeah, absolutely. They're, just because you have to start in 3D, I really mm -hmm. struggled with that so much years ago. Yeah, and then you have the timer ticking down on you, and you're like, uh... <laughs> oh my dude, that was the first mushroom we got in the run. I just realized that. Are you the, kidding uh, me? Text for it. Wait, you got the mushroom text? That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> Dude, that, that needs to be like a goal. Get the only required mushroom. That's funny because I totally forgot that that mushroom exists. Cause I was thinking of skipping the mushroom text at one point, but I guess we just can't. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Shortly followed by an ultra shroom. And then we refight Francis! Yay, Francis! <laughs> Definitely didn't almost do that in my world record run. <laughs> so, interesting... Oh, go ahead. Okay, um, so interesting thing about this Mimi fight. There is a uh, spinning chainsaw animation that happens. And, um... You can actually cancel it if you jump on her head at the perfect time. It saves 
think around 45 seconds or something ridiculous. Yeah, and it was cool. It was found like there's like a way to like cancel the the cycle if it happens, so it only really loses 10 seconds if you fail it now. Uh, it's kind of weird. So like, there's only one frame that you can actually hit Mimi on, uh, but you can jump at like the, the jump timing is like 10 frames. It sounds stupid at first, but if you like think about it, it's like you can jump whenever you want, pretty much. But that yeah. bounces out there for a frame. You just have to be like above Mimi on one of those frames. Or on that one frame, sorry. Yeah, so it's technically frame perfect, but it, it's it's got a, a way. As long as you jump within a certain window, you will hit the one frame. So it's technically not one frame, but technically yes, yeah, it, make, it makes sense if you don't think about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scooter Mario question mark? Oh, of course. Scooter yeah. Mario! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know your eight three times, so I'm gonna guess. Um nine forty two. Okay, let's all vote. Did did Where's Zach get it right or not? 928. 928? Go yeah, that's what I'm going with. 928. Yeah. Put it all on, on, uh, Zach's vote. Oh, that room in two. That's awesome. <laughs> First term, man. Wow. He said that it might be pretty doable for runs, actually. I kind of want to mess with it. That would be cool. Because apparently it's just a spam of enemies, it's not really that hard to get over. <laughs> that was funny jumping in there. <laughs> yeah. Hi, he just opens the door with one. 3D bar left. It's kind of unfortunate because he's gonna get damaged here, but there's nothing you can really do. <coughs> Excuse me. I always hated this room because it's like RNG whether you get hit or not. Technically, you could just stay in like the weird paper mode that Luigi's in. Uh, if you hit the hit the block with this spring jump. I feel like that'd be even worse because then you have to like dodge them <laughs> like to open the door. Yeah. Can't just like hold up. <laughs> yeah, because they can like hit you through the cutscenes, which is really dumb. Yeah, it's so annoying. Just I can just picture myself one time just for some reason being at like one HP or a few HP mm -hmm. here and just one of those projectiles just being like, please, 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 no! <laughs> I know. Oh, that'd be such a tragic clip. So he's There's already really like six seconds. About it. He's already oh, like really. six seconds ahead of my my goal. <laughs> so oh. people guess guess better than sub ten at least. <laughs> I think I said 928. That was my final answer. Mm -hmm. Let's break that down. I don't remember. Was was the FLC found when he was here? I don't think it was. I think it was found just after. Wait, we do an FLC. Oh, it was. Here? Okay, cool. Nice. Yeah. So we do an FLC here now. Oh, I found that it saves like a second to wow. do this. <laughs> that way you get the unloaded door. And also, what pixel we have doesn't actually matter for this room and the next room. Because uh, in the next room... Huh, that was faster, that's interesting. <laughs> uh, in this room, we're gonna do a gold bar clip here. 
Um, and then what's cool is we can actually just uh, flip back into 3D uh, with Fleep here. Uh, but he's just going to do it with a mid-air flip, which is frame perfect, so... Um, you could do it either way, but it seemed better for your RTA to do it with Fleep. And then another FLC here to save like 3 seconds. Goodness. This <laughs> is so cool. Oh yeah, 8-3 is getting crazy, man. He can't even see it yet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if staying Fleep here could be better. I feel like... I don't know, I mean, you're, be... you're walking across the entire room. It would be... Okay, yeah. I've never tried- I've never timed or anything. Yeah, makes sense. It is a lot of walking. Mm-hmm. And then here in this room, uh... I'm not sure if he's gonna do it. It's not really. No one's really done an RTA, anyways. Uh, but I'll still point it out. Uh, you can do a FLC uh, to cancel Fleep a little faster. It's just not really RTA viable. That's why he didn't do it. I think these are the last two Thubblies of the run. That you could do. They should be, anyways. Just dope. Oh, you did the eight fours. Okay, yeah. You got like, I'm guessing you probably just got the Thubblies a little faster then. Because for me, I was getting carried faster, but it's it's kind of like the same speed. You know, like. And here, obviously, yeah, we're going to jump out of the water lots. The leg spike, yeah. <laughs> and then this room, we're gonna actually use Fleep in a pretty interesting way. So once we're past the wall, uh, we can just press one, and then it'll just like flip us and it'll just put us on the bottom floor, which is nice. We're back. Back here again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I wonder if he can beat his last time. This game really, really likes this room for some reason. <laughs> Like, I don't know wh what kind of creation this was. I'm sure they all sat down in a room and everybody was hard at work. And then this one guy's like, let's just have him walk across an entire room with nothing in it. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah, else do you guys think? Idea. Let's make him run in a hamster wheel for eight minutes straight. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> What else? Let's make him jump up 50 freaking stairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is. It is. But from a speedrunner's perspective, it's like, why? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy how the uh, fast vision can keep up with you there. <laughs> yeah. And, um, something cool about this room is if you just keep mashing the text, you just game over. Um, yeah. Thankfully, we're not on the Twitch front page, though, today, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thankfully, <laughs> my hands are not on the controller, today, so we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> we don't know anything thankfully, about that here. <laughs> <laughs> thankfully, the video is already recorded, so we're good to go. <laughs> Brutal. So it doesn't quite look like he's getting a sub 9, unfortunately. 
but it's okay. Oh my gosh, yes, yeah, this thing. Oh, that's sick. Wow. That's awesome. So, there's two ways we can do this for RTA. We can either do it like that, or I literally, literally the last run I did, like a few, like yesterday or a few days ago, he spawned on the ceiling and flipped, which means I, you could do the quick kill from there. I almost got it perfectly, but then he just wow. flipped again the next cycle. <laughs> Damn, it's not quite a 928, it's a little slower, just barely slower. Or wait, no, well, no, I think this is very close, actually, to what I said. That's funny. That's nuts, it's like almost- No, it, it is a 928, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's a 929. 929. That's so Dang. close, man. Good thing I didn't vote. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I did- I, like, I'm pretty sure I don't remember hearing 928 or yeah. 929. I think I literally just guessed that. I'm pretty sure Ghost didn't tell me, or maybe he did tell me. I think he told me he beat my time by a lot, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, the last segment before the boss. Okay, yeah. Good guess though. Oh yeah, you could do oh, this you first. Oh, you just walk right under those guys? Wow. Yes, you can. That's nuts. It might be based on RNG too. Yeah, I was about to say that's probably RNG based. I just hate pokies, man. Like, I wish we could do all these rims flipless consistently, but it's just not really worth it, because there, if you get poison, you just gotta grab a mushroom. It just sucks. This room gives me trauma, and I'm pretty sure it gives JCR trauma too now. Yeah. Yeah, it does. We both lost, like... Oh, it gives me trauma too. I've lost runs too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right in the massive. Player. I lost world record to this run. JCR lost sub four to this run. Yeah. What did I lose? I lost something. I remember. I think I lost um. Or to that room. What yeah. did I lose? I don't remember, but I've definitely lost something to this room. Yeah. And I remember being super sad. <laughs> <laughs> Just such an easy room to like. You mess one thing up, and it's like, oh well, there goes like two minutes. Yeah, it all goes downhill. I just yeah. Really, I had like a one minute blunder. The cycles are like all messed up. Yeah. So it's easy to like flail. Uh, so it, I, I guess Ghost didn't know maybe, uh, but you, it's technically like slightly faster to um to undotty right when you enter the tunnel. I might have just forgot. Um, but it saves, like, a handful of frames if you do it. <laughs> John pointing it out. You didn't undie! You didn't do it! <laughs> what the frick, man? <laughs> and then, I'm guessing, yeah, he probably should have switched to Thubly after doing the... Doing the, what's it called? Mm -hmm. The 3D damage hit. How dare you go, Sasuke? <laughs> How dare you okay, shoot one time faster? Safer, Are another. you serious? That no way, man. That's crazy. The okay, carry's faster. So there. That's nuts. I see. Makes sense. Actually, I, I'm pretty sure he's going to do a really neat uh, strat in one of these rooms. Because it's been done before. I'm just not sure if he did the gold bar clip in the last room. That'd be super cool if he did. Let's see. I think he's gonna do it. Let's see. Yep, oh, okay, cool, yeah, yeah so... Yes. This was found by JCR, so I'll let JCR explain it. Yeah, so basically you can gold bar clip through this wall, and you'll be right in front of the door. And it saves, I don't know exactly how much, it's like a second or something. Um, over going the other route.
it's just unfortunate that for RTA that won't be worth it really. <laughs> That's crazy, you saved 8 seconds. Dang, here it is, the final boss. So, there's a lot that's going to be going on uh, for Phase 1. Uh, so, he's basically just going to ma manipulate Black to be, like, I think either, like, right on the floor or the platform, like, right above the floor. Uh, that way, he can just do all the drums. I'm pretty sure it's going to be right on the floor, though. That's where Black should, should be going. Okay, yeah, just right there. And uh, what's cool is uh, Black is just going to go under this platform, uh, so you can just jump on him right away. Oh. I thought he was gonna do something else, but yeah, that works too. <laughs> and yeah, phase one is just so quick. Uh, once, basically, what all you have to wait for is just for his portal attack to finish, and then once it's finished, you, the phase is over. As long as you hit him enough times. So phase two is actually really, really interesting. So Black is just gonna do three attacks, uh, and the three attacks he he does in that order is he does a small portal, and he does a big portal, and then he dashes, and then it's random after that. Uh, so I'm guessing he probably did a small portal attack while he hit him there. So now he's gonna do a big portal. Yep, and then now he's gonna do his dash on the next attack. And what's cool is during his dash attack, you can just kill him. Wow. Perfect. Let's go. <laughs> that was nuts, man. Uh, so you can just combo him by just jumping and firing. That is actually crazy. You know what else is crazy? Soft locking oh, on World Record That's been done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't have to remind me that. I'm so sorry. I'm fun. sorry. I wish I had like one during that run, bro. It would have been so depressing, bro. I was just like, I was just like, no, what's going on? Yeah. Why can't I move? Man. Why does the plus button work? <laughs> what's also What's also crazy to me is that that used to be like thought of as tasks only but now we do that in rounds all the time like we always try it and my gold there has it too which is nice wow you're getting the perfect combo yeah that's awesome it's just that's a little like actually face. rta viable oh yeah 100 percent. and you know what also sucks crashing here <laughs> shout out to game rob I've never crashed here before. Shout out to I'm Dead. Oh, it was I'm Dead. It wasn't Game Rob that crashed here. Oh, I thought they both crashed. Maybe they did. Shout outs to everyone who crashed here. Also, shout outs <laughs> to casual number 10,000 who crashed here as well. Dude, imagine <laughs> casually playing this game and then it crashes there. Like, what? Well, it's just statistically, someone probably did. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Definitely. Or all of the like hundreds of people that play on uh, thousands of people <laughs> that play on Japanese, all the just randomly playing the game and just. I feel bad. Yeah, I can't also, wait to get back into SPM. It's on the Wii U Virtual Console now. Let's play. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then they literally gain control after bashing all the text and prologue, and then crashes. They're like, "Okay, I'm done. Screw this game." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
All right, everybody, get your sour, please. Get your cat jam. Get all your dance emotes. Get it's a ready. very limited time where you can type all these emotes because the fight's going to be very, very fast. <laughs> uh, so what Ghost is going to do is he's just going to jump into Super Dementio, uh, use a Mighty Tonic, and then just hold one, and the fight will just kind of finish on its own. He might press left and right a couple times, but that's about it. And I believe, Flash, you found this? Question mark? No, I didn't find it, but I was the first to do it in RTA. First to do it in RTA, right. I guess Karage found it then, maybe? No, it was just some random Japanese runner that uh, oh, yeah. showed it off. They, they posted it on their channel and I found it randomly. Oh, that's cool. like, oh, I could, I could probably do that. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, this fight's super, super cool. I like it a lot. Uh, so basically, we just jump and get damage boost into Super Dimensio, use the tonic right away. In RTA, we usually delay using the tonic because he's just going to have to wait a little bit before he double jumps. Or he's just going to do it instantly, okay. <laughs> wow. <That was> dope. <laughs> GG, dude. <laughs> GG. Dude, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Goodness. He beat my split by Wait. 0 0.3 seconds. That's sick. Wow. <laughs> Dude, that is insane. Yeah, my black split there is freaking crazy, man. Let's go. Jeez, guys. That was an awesome showcase, Ghost. Thank you so much for working on that for the past like year now yeah it's so awesome to watch and no, it'll be very so. helpful this thing is his baby <laughs> <laughs> well yeah i'll let you guys take the shout outs if you want to shout, okay. out, shout everybody out jcr flash 20. well i can i can start as well obviously like you said shout outs to ghost for making this the production value is like through the roof um like he said this is technically task world record but um he's still waiting on we're we're still technically waiting on uh john and ghost to uh, submit the the actual spm task which will be really 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 fun to watch um, Absolutely. Um, I, I do want to say that just a, a big thank you to Ghost for making this. And obviously, there's going to be credits who show, you know, all the, the list of names of everybody that helped. But uh, I seriously do mean this. This is huge for our community to have a, I, whatever you want to call it, an RTA task, a human theory task. But just to have um, a general idea of, like, almost every single best up-to-date strat that can be done or that could be performed by a human and uh, it's going to help a lot of newer runners it's going to help a lot of current runners a lot of older runners uh, it's going to be a great resource so i just want to say thank you to everyone who is involved in this project especially ghost yeah absolutely uh and uh if you do want to come in here ghost and say anything uh absolutely feel free you you know how to get in here but that's obviously your decision this is your this is your moment so spend it how you'd like it <laughs> and for anyone wondering yes the task is basically over he just has to mash through the text also, uh, I don't know if you guys saw it, but he added a nice little Easter egg here in the end when the uh, when the credits show up. Oh yeah, I heard about this. I'm excited to see it. That'll be cool. <laughs> I may or may not have gotten a sneak preview of this when I download. <laughs> oh yeah, damn. I'll be seeing it live for the first time. <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> Ghost, send me a preview right now. <laughs> I'll see it 10 seconds before everyone else. <laughs> Kidding. Uh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, other shoutouts, like, shoutouts to, shoutouts to John for working on the current tasks. Uh, shoutouts to Gurmi. He's also a really good runner. I saw him in the chat. Um, yeah, shoutouts to Flash JCR for helping commentate to you. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah, the, um, 
of course, as always, shout out to the community. Um, this is probably one of the best speedrunning communities that you could be a part of. Uh, the the amount of dedication that goes into finding all this really cool stuff, it, it's it's amazing. Um, is this the end right here? Oh, no, no, no. 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 It's still, there's still one more bit. Yep. Yeah, 100%. Like, I literally joined this community, like, in 2019, like, mid-2019, and it's been really cool. Like, I've never enjoyed speedrunning your game so much, and it's just because of the good community. Like, it's just so nice to, like, learn everything. Because, like, I know a lot of other speedrun communities are just, it's so hard to, like, learn because, like, people don't care, you know? But like in this community, like everyone cares about helping, which is awesome. Yeah, absolutely. This community is incredible. It's the reason that so many things have gotten this far. It's the reason we have so many cool things like this TAS, uh, I mean, this Twitch channel. Uh, there's just really tons of awesome people in this community and none of this would be possible without everyone who's been mm -hmm. here over the last however many years it's been. So big shout outs yeah. to you guys. Uh, I'll say one last thing before, I guess we'll let the credits speak for themselves so you guys can enjoy them. Um, but thank you to everybody who watched this. Thank you everybody in Twitch chat. Thanks for everybody who subbed. Um, let's throw our gold bars for, uh, for Ghost one more time. And don't forget to like, subscribe. Uh, make sure to leave a comment on this video on our YouTube channel. Uh, follow the SPM community Twitch page. And watch um, the SPM community Twitter. history video. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so thank you guys. And we'll see you guys in another time in another place. Yep. Thank you guys so much.